Hello friends, Kelwise here, and I want to talk to you a little bit about a thing near and dear to my heart, fishing. It's in my blood. You could say I have a knack for it, but more importantly, I enjoy it. It's relaxing, even when the fish don't bite. So it probably shouldn't come as a surprise that I've learned a thing or two about the fish of Aventide and how to catch them, and I'm going to share some of my wisdom with you. I hail from the Oxnard Coast, a long stretch of sandy beach full of a wide variety of fish, large and small. Throwing out a line from the sand will typically get you some smaller game like pincherfish, and sandy spinefish, or even the vivid yellow, shallow howl fish. Even better still is an abundant speckled blue fish we like to call Nomad's Delight. It's full of yummy fat and it just tastes great over an open fire. Larger game like the long-winded sailfish and the crimson studebaker could feed a whole family, but you usually need a boat to catch them since they spend their time in deeper waters. Tide pools, in the event that you would come across them, they have their own ecosystem altogether. Small game like the tidal cone swallows, the painted brickfish, and, and mud sweepers are usually very plentiful and easy picking with a net. Just watch out for the teeth on the cone swallows, they'll uh, take the tip of a finger right off. When we were in the warmer waters of Lake Emersil, we found strange new creatures uh, with bright colors and unique temperaments. Fish like the deep red volcano trout and golden bunfish, they made for really good eating, and they were pretty easy to spot from the surface too. We saw these medium-sized fish called banded groupies that would jump from the sea at dawn some mornings. I think they were trying to catch bugs. It was uh, one of the more peculiar hunting methods I had witnessed. Turns out, not very good eating either. As we sailed to Adgarad, we got to witness the true spectacle and abundance of the Sivacap Sea, the smallest and largest creatures living and playing side by side. We would routinely see giant schools of purple-headed goatfish and swarms of blue bottlefish around the boat. At night, you could see the otherworldly shimmer of glow-headed wormfish and incandescent spiny trout. Of course, both of them were poisonous, so maybe try to avoid them, actually. We also saw medium-sized creatures like sea panthers. Usually you'd see them stalking schools of fish or even trying to catch birds for a meal. The largest creature by far that we saw out on the waters was the white-striped meg. It made our boat look small by comparison. It was actually a bit scary. Of course, rock spines deserve an honorable mention in this list because well, they aren't exactly a fish, but they are one of the tastiest things that I've ever had come out of the water. Recently, our young giant companion named Cup even taught me a new way to fish using a string and his bare hands. It sounds crude, but it was amazingly effective. The marble fish and coconut crooners that we caught were small and full of bones, but good nonetheless and a welcome treat after a long day of walking. Of course, sometimes it's the fish that get away that make the best stories. And there have been plenty of fish that have gotten away from me. I, I remember this one time Ander and I were fishing off the coast and we finally got this, this clamp fish, this huge fish pulled up onto the sand after what seemed like hours of struggling. And uh, I went to go deliver a death blow. I pulled out my knife and tried to stab it. And well, let's just say the line ended up snapping. And sadly, he floundered his way back into the ocean, leaving us without dinner. I think the lesson there is, not every day fishing is a good day of fishing. Sometimes they'll run away from you. Heck, sometimes you need to be the fish to run away. But you gotta keep throwing that line back out there. And try to have a good time while you're at it. Hello everybody! Welcome to Minus One Charisma, the second best Dungeons & Dragons stream on the internet. We're so excited to be with you today. All of us. Fixing our hair like everyone's fixing their hair all at once. It's <laughs> like, oh, 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 wait, go back, go back. Ah, going ah, ah. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna jump right in. We're gonna uh, we're gonna play some D and D, and we're gonna have some fun. We'll see you guys in a second.
been uh, working out. Last Never time on Avon Tide. Uh, <laughs> I try and stuff. Everybody, everybody, shut up. I'm just kidding. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, please, please finish what you were saying. <laughs> this is my stage. <laughs> this is my time. <laughs> I'm sorry. God, I want to run around I'm naked sorry. on the ah! beach. I can. <laughs> Uh, last time, <laughs> last time on Avatide, uh, after a back and forth with the, f the scary firehead spider monster, Dranis didn't manage to tear its heart out, leaving him alive, but very badly burned. Very uh, badly burned. <laughs> <laughs> they headed north to find an ancient temple with three large crystals and two guardians made out of, like, these thick metal plates, highly resistant to the heat metal spell. Strange. Yeah. Uh, after defeating them, Thargan found no, out he could bond with the magic inside them, aiding his legs and giving him the ability to walk and fly, while covering in some pretty sweet armor. Uh, the party stands 50 feet above a large chasm on a platform with a pulsing red crystal with vines and overgrowth kind of running over the whole uh, structure. Uh, dilapidated bridges and pathways that connect to the temple, uh, kind of run back and forth. Uh, and some of you find your feet stuck to the ground, covered in a thick silk. And that's where we are. You guys, uh, what's going on? <laughs> what's it <this> like? <laughs> yeah. little, little All of our here. feet, thick silk. Yeah, yeah, and you see Thargan kind of testing out uh, the this, this suit and its capabilities. That long sword that he had, the, that the armor had attacked you guys with, still in his hand as he just holds it over his head. Be great if he, like, couldn't ever let go of it, though, because it was, like, <laughs> molded into the thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Am I still huge, by the way? You are. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Rezik, how long does oh, that okay. spell last? I was gonna say it lasts a minute, but it's up okay, to you. Okay, yeah. So like, uh, <laughs> halfway through uh, watching this miraculous gift of uh, mobility that Thargan's been given, um, Dresden starts to shrink. It's, down. it's rascal armor. You're right. <laughs> um, yeah. In that, in that yeah. time, I'm just gonna stand very still because like, like this whole thing is very wobbly, and I've realized I weigh 1,300 plus pounds. So. <laughs> Oh Those of us that are like yeah. under him. <laughs> how does that oh, you right. uh, How him. many yeah, of you guys I'm like, are? I'm like uh, underneath him. Yeah, but Dresden, you weren't stuck, so you could me. you could technically move out of the way. Yeah, I did it very carefully. Yeah. So. Whoa, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Coming down. And after oh, and after a few minutes, the 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 silk itself <laughs> starts to give way and releases you as it, it very slowly starts to almost dissolve into uh, what looks like just like a powdery light as it kind of f flows off into the wind. Wow. He's like a Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that can't yeah. be good. And, oh. and Pop, it's got like a, it's got a very chalky, uh, dry, almost musky flavor to it. It has a really dry, almost musky flavor to it. Well, don't eat it! Odd way to describe that. I don't know. I just it came to me. Do we see if, any way out? Is there like are we like what's what's what are we looking at here? Yeah, you guys are uh, on that platform, um, and you see the the temple just ahead of you. Let me pull up the map here. Show the map. Pull up the map. Show the map. Uh, here oh, we map. are, and uh, you guys were on this this uh, this ledge here. Uh, you had, had seen that temple just to the north, and then you have that there's that rope that you guys had placed. Uh, the tang rope. The tang rope. Um, there's a platform over here, platform over here with similarly pulsing crystals. Uh, there's that 50 foot drop next to you, and then uh, the walkways themselves. Yeah. What, um, what do we do next? Uh, what happened? We're touching this uh, stone didn't do anything, right? No, nothing really. Right, well, let's Thargan kind the, of uh, uh, floats over that that gap, right, almost like testing <gasps> testing his Floating his down. armor. Like you oh, see a look of doing. like, can he fly or can it. he float? I'm gonna it doesn't go sound for like it. such a dumb idea now, does it? Huh? All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, and he kind of floats over. Um, yeah. 
He floats over testing uh, the armor, and it seems to hold. And he Can kind I... of looks back and waves you guys over. Can I throw out my mage hand? Is there still the magic barrier there? Because... It was more well, of a long there barrier, a... I think. Oh. Yeah, in, it, was, in good it news. was more of a, something to oh, just alert. Oh, alarm thing. Uh, it yeah, alerts yeah. the... Yeah, it's, you'd think that it, it was pretty much the trigger for those armors to come attacking Dresden. Got it. Okay, cool. So thank you for that. <laughs> Speaking of the armor, um, is there any uh, leftover pieces of that armor that was completely destroyed? That had melted and fallen yeah, so down into the pit below you, but there mm -hmm. are a ton of armor plates uh, near where Thargan is. There's a whole bunch of armor that had been just like, had lost its magic, I guess. Okay. I'll pick up a few pieces and just put them away for well, later. Well, you'd have study. to come all the way around. It's over here in this area. Not you guys are down here. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me get there. I'll do start that. Start walking. Yeah, let's walk to the Pakoda. Um, okay, yeah. Just go around, so, right? yeah, let's take you guys, the long way. You guys head over. Um, you walk well, along this pathway. The pathway itself seems to hold, but not mm. at the same... Uh, it doesn't have the same sturdiness that this, this big platform had. As you walk across it, uh, Dresden, you're pretty sure that if you were still big, this thing would come toppling down on you. Um, some stones are just loose uh, a little bit and you almost feel that maybe it's in your head but maybe the pathway wobbles just a little bit to the left and right. Hard to tell. You walk up here and there's this big overgrowth over here. Uh, it's not hard to get over but it does take a, a little bit of effort as uh, you don't want to disturb uh, anything here. And then these vines over here are so thick that you find it like if you were trying to move fast, you might trip and fall. It's a lot of hooks and looped uh, vines. Hidden behind your head. So you come uh, over here. These vines, you can see these. They were under my head. Well, now I can. There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, you come up over here. You see that pulsing green crystal on this side over here. That was behind my head. One hidden behind your uh, head. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you come over to the uh, east in this direction and you meet up with Thargan. Um, and uh, Rezik, yeah, you find a bunch of those just armor plates lying on the ground. Uh, gauntlets, uh, greaves, chest plates, those helmets. It's very, very heavy, heavy helmets. And uh, you got to pick, yeah. uh, what are you picking up exactly? Um, just anything that's like, you know, um, just a few small metal fragments of this, of whatever this device or this, um, uh, armor was, just to be able to kind of study it later. Just a few things okay. I can pick up. Yeah, store you, away. you take, like, you see the pauldron, because the, the, the runes, there was a rune on each pauldron, and then one big rune kind of in the chest plate. Um, you could probably take, like, a, a pauldron or sorts, but they're very heavy. It's, like, incredibly yeah. thick, just solid metal. It's like okay, yeah, they I'll I'll really didn't pauldron. take into consideration uh, the fact that the weight of these things was going to be massive. Actually, probably helped them, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you take a pauldron, and it's it's a hefty 15 pounds, just the, the we, shoulder pad itself. We could probably cook on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are there any gems, no sir? Cast iron armor. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any gems or any? It doesn't thing? look like there's any gems. The, those long swords, uh, there, there's a series of them uh, rusted, but uh, for the most part, and in, in, you could repair them or you could resharpen them. Those look. That's probably the most valuable thing. Someone yeah. Someone needs a, a sword. I mean, they're kind of gross, but you know they get sharp. It's no, a long okay. sword. Pass. Yeah, there, there, there's some pretty big long swords. It's but... as long as you sword. <laughs> yeah. Is there a staff of any sort? There's no staves. It looks like every all these armors were like very uniform in their uh, yeah build. yeah. Any any staffs or bracers just like lying around that are like magical maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh. Before we no. go, so yeah, I'm gonna, when we get there, we'll be like. Um, by the way, just before we go inside, uh, is everyone okay? Does anyone need to need some time to heal up? Uh, how are we doing? That was pretty oh, rough. That's a, that's a good question. Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. I'm all right. I actually can't remember. And if this, this morning didn't kill me, probably be fine. 
True. What yeah. was this morning? It was when I got very badly burned. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. As Looking you can good. see here and here. <laughs> and right, the right, right. The skin off my face. Thanks. Sorry. Bye. Uh, right. What was and better? I thought that's the what skin? you humans looked like. <laughs> or the web. I think my beards are going to grow back there. <laughs> and uh, Thargan kind of uh, looks to all of you. Well, uh, I'm going to head inside. If you care to join me. Oh, sure. Yeah, no, we, yeah right. we just didn't. We didn't want to. You know, it's your temple, and absolutely. You know. Uh, Maybe I should go first, just in case. I don't want to uh, if you... have any traps You've or got anything. the magical armor, yeah. Yes. If you can carry me with you, I can help if there's anything else in there. I can sure. check for traps. Hop on up, Cornelia. And he offers you, like, a hand just to top up on. Oh, man, that's a that's a beefy right. show of strength. And you, you top on him, I, and I am it doesn't seem like... It's not... It's so smooth, it doesn't feel like human muscle moving you it just seems like this suit just has so much power that he sets you on a shoulder Whoa. as you guys uh start to yeah, enter in Very uh, before, before we go in uh we might possibly die i wanted to ask um uh would you happen to know uh who built all of this this is this is really impressive arcane uh things yeah. here i mean they get like do you have any clue at all like was it a, I, was it a mage was it I have no? no idea. In fact, <laughs> none of our records mention anything magical like this. Most of my house actively shuns uh, magical intervention, seeing it's a oh. uh, cheat oh, of sorts. Well, that might need to change soon. Yeah. Okay. Well, either that, yeah. or you're gonna have to get some like very baggy pants. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just put like a cloak on. Mm. Yeah. Or uh, a mic. Mimic like a really the... big dress. Well, yeah. Well, well I think, uh, congratulations. Be... Leaves? Like, like, you can stick leaves to it. Very hard to hide. I think yep. uh, my best course of action would be to come clean yeah. and accept Not with that attitude. <laughs> I'll take no, your big leaves not into like consideration. Not like that kind but... of clean. Not like that kind of clean. <laughs> I got some. But like Kristen said, too. congrats, congrats. I mean, this is amazing. Thank you. I appreciate. it. Yeah. You guys we were all worried. Me, uh, we spent we spent a whole day looking for a, a primer hoof just to carry around in. But now you're we more capable than us, man. You're yeah. carrying me on your shoulder. Yeah, well, man. we'll see how long Prime this off. magic what? lasts. It's uh, maybe a temporary stopgap. Well, don't go swimming. And not a permanent solution. Yes, certainly not. Mm. Cornelia, uh, shall we? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and you guys step in, um, and as you walk up, there's a <laughs> set of large stairs. You walk up, and you notice that the building has a, a modest-sized entryway. The entryway is maybe uh, six by three feet. It's not a huge door, um, but opening, uh, walking across that precipice, you notice that this whole entire temple is one massive room, almost 50 feet high with long lines of pillars um, standing straight up into the air, creating a long walkway with uh, slats coming out of the walls. And you see there's birds and trees and vines that have dug into the walls over, over time, nests. Um, and one of the things you notice, uh, Cornelia, right away, uh, you see something way up high on maybe the fifth set of slats. Um, in front of you, kind of peering down at you, very small, hard to tell uh, what it exactly it is, but past that uh, and all these pillars that make this huge line, you see three statues that have been just torn asunder through time. They have a vague humanoid shape, but most of the limbs and some of the, and a couple of the heads have fallen off, and they're just all what looks like looking over these three chests that stand on this dais that's raised up maybe 10 feet into the air with seemingly no set of stairs or walkway up to them it's just sitting way off into the back 
And that's basically all that's in here. There's a lot of dust and dirt and creme. Um, mm. And a few holes in the ceiling uh, have beams of light shining through. Is there a place where maybe there was something large or a tree that could have been planted and not there anymore? Um, like a patch yeah, of dirt Yeah, roll an investigation anywhere. check. Bobby dice. Damn it. They rolled the bad dot Bobby dice. Ten. Bobby. Ten. Um, you take a look at the floor, looking for evidence of a tree that might have been removed or died and just has withered away over time. And from the masoned squares that are in maybe better repair than most of this temple, with the exception of a few slots, spots where um, maybe a, a pillar had fallen over and cracked the stone, you don't see anything like a tree that's fallen over or a big enough gap that uh, a large uh, plant could have come out of. And you said I, de I did see some newer stones, or do all of the stones look like they're from the same time? Uh, yeah, the whole place looks like it was carved in one fell swoop. Okay. It doesn't look like there's any repairs or anything that have been done. Um, and as you're doing that, Thargan kind of looks up into the rafters. It looks like we have friends, Cornelia. Just keep an eye on them. And he starts to slowly just walk through the room, moving forward. Uh, and... Uh, what are you good, what are you doing, Cornelia? While he walks towards the, that those three chests and the looming statues and the dies. How many small creatures did I see? Or the you you only saw one, but it's hard to tell uh, with the darkness that's up there. It's pretty far away. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stay where I'm at right now. How far is it where Thargan is going where the chests are? It's maybe a 40, 50 foot walk. Um, can I actually just uh, yell to Thargan as he's leaving? Uh, you do you him? want me to, f oh yeah, am I actually on his shoulder? Or you were on his down? shoulder, you can, you can, you can <laughs> crawl off if you want. <laughs> Uh, I'll get, I'll continue to be on his on his uh, shoulder then. But can I just like have my bow and arrow ready, and also look for any like traps, like booby traps, ropes, or sure. Uh, roll another Something, investigation yeah. check now that you're looking for uh, traps, maybe. Natural one plus four. Okay, so with a five. You look, Bobby dice. definitely no rope traps <laughs> in this area. You don't see anything, because uh, you're looking specifically for that kind of stuff. You've heard maybe of, uh, you just read that book about, uh, it had a, what was it called? Uh, the Way of the Sleight of the Hand? Yeah. The, uh, and there the was a little section, the world. Uh, the world through Sleight of Hand. Yeah. Uh, and you had read a little thing about dungeon diving and traps and things like that that had kind of uh, piqued your interest and you look down at these stones and because of how much crud creme leaves and branches and debris uh, it would be very very hard to tell if there was a trap and it, in fact you might even be surprised if the trap still worked at this point uh, but you don't see anything like that. Um, Thargan continues to move those creatures. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? Uh, you guys all kind of notice right away those creatures up top. It doesn't seem like they're hiding necessarily, just kind of using the top of that uh, slat in the stone to cover themselves for the most part. Are they bigger than me or t smaller than me? <laughs> it, it's hard to tell. They, they seem smaller than you. I like a lot or a little. <laughs> Like how big are we, what are we it's hard at? to tell it's that? just really most it's monkey? mostly just like heads popping out okay got it with eyes so you don't really okay. get a full 
view. Uh, Cornelia, you would rather. Them. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you see maybe even like a little squint uh, as you glare, and one of them just kind of slides away. Oh. Uh, Cornelia, you, you, you walk up, uh, you ride up to the dais uh, mm-hmm. with uh, Thargan, and he easily just kind of lifts off the ground and then lands on that platform with the three statues who have been wow. just withered over time. And you see three chests, immaculately crafted chests that surprisingly haven't withered much at all. And uh, when, when you look at the chests, you notice something interesting. The chests themselves may be four feet tall. These are huge. But the, the locking mechanism and the hinges make it so that the top of this the the lid to these chests make up 90% of the chest itself. It seems like the bottom is just a it's almost like a crate that you would lift the top off of. Um, That's disappointing. Not a normal sized chest. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna slide off of him at this point and, <laughs> and, and just stay planted where he is. And just okay. observe what he's doing and keep a lookout and have my bow and arrow ready yeah. for some action. And he looks at you. Well, uh, we've come this far. I don't sense anything uh, nefarious coming from it, though I wouldn't be a very good uh, read on those kinds of things. So uh, keep your wits about you. And he goes over to one of the chests. Um, starts to lift it and it's glued shut over the time but you see him heave just a little bit and you hear a loud cracking sound as this this chest hasn't been opened in oh. years and years and years and this oh, he broke his own back this very <laughs> light red glow starts to come from out of the box and he lifts the whole thing up and you see a tree inside this box no more than two feet tall. Black bark around the whole entire thing with these big red leaves. And in between the bark, you see almost in pulses these lights that seem to come from the roots up slowly and into these beautiful multi pronged leaves that just hang in this soft glow. And, and you see ever so slightly coming off of the leaves what look like tiny 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 little stars just slowly falling from the leaves back down and when you look at this tree you notice the roots themselves dig deep into this really really dry soil the soil that had been dried many many centuries ago and the roots themselves dig into the stone through the chest and seem to just keep on going they've just broken through the rock beneath them uh can I go in can closer? Can we see this? Can I, like, yeah, can we see everyone, this? the no, second the thing this. lights up, everything, uh, the whole room kind of has this reddish glow to it. Um, no. And Pup, you hear uh, from the rafters, ooh, just ever so slightly on the wind. Um, unrelated to the ooh, do I like... Does this tree and like the sparkles and any of this like resemble my music box to me at all? No, not really. Uh, okay. This is like a. It does resemble the the tapestries that you had seen, in the in the hall, at the the <laughs> founders ball. They had that tapestry yeah. with the black uh, tree. This looks pretty close, uh, surprisingly. Just not nearly as grand. It's a tiny little. Almost like a bonsai tree. Yeah. In comparison. Is... You guys think that that's it? I mean, it's gotta be it. That thing looks like it. I want to get as close as I can to, like, and study the bark to see if it looks like you could easily scrape a piece off. Yeah. So you go up to the the, the dais. Uh, It's ten feet up in the air. So you'd have to either climb or get someone to help you up there. I look at Dresden. <laughs> Just feeling yeah. all of Dresden my burns. Dresden lifts you all time. the way up. 
as high uh, as he can lift you, and your arms reach over that, and you pull yourself up. And uh, you look, and there's just a little bit of bark and a, like three or four leaves that have fallen down and rest on the ground. Does it look like there's a forest field around the tree? Doesn't seem like a forest field, no. I'd like to creep closer and like slowly touch and see if anything <laughs> happens to me. You see, yeah, you walk <laughs> up, uh, you dead. touch the tree and you, you notice a almost like a, the, the lights that keep going up and disappearing into the leaves. There's like a slight, just a mini pulse of light that comes out of where you touched and then the light just shoo, continues to go over to those leaves. All right, then I, I gather what has fallen on the ground. Okay, yeah, you gather it up and it doesn't seem like anything, it doesn't affect the tree in any visible way that you can see. Cool. I'm Once gonna <laughs> creep back back away from the tree. And seeing this back away, I have a, a sample jar prepared just like. <laughs> and I pass Thargan. it off to yeah. the anxious one. <laughs> and Thargan kind of kneels by the tree after you've touched it. And he rubs his, he just slowly puts his hand across the roots and closes his eyes, just holding on to it. And he looks up to you. Yeah, it seems like there are many generations in this tree. Uh, if you would allow me to commune with them, I would appreciate Please, it. Please, Bowmates! Thank you. I back away. And he kind of holds his hand to the tree and almost turns his head as if he's listening to something. You guys can't hear anything, really. I don't, I don't feel good about this. Just personally. <laughs> as an aside, I say to everyone else. Hey, do we know that's his tree? This is very quiet, because he's obviously that's, communing. That's we what know I was that, thinking. Is that his tree? Because uh, well, if, there, if, he, if he's got the other tree. trees, if he breaks those trees, uh, is that bad? Well, is he going to um, break them? You think he's going to break them? Well, I'm just saying he can. He's a man made of human living armor now, and he can fly. I don't I know. Just Maybe the power will go to his help. head. Well, is it all flying? flying? Very quiet, very quiet. Is it all well, is it well, flying? I think it's flying. He went over. If the he gap. breaks the tree, it does it. What does it do? It just that whole town doesn't have a protection yet. Um. Yeah. I have no idea. Something yeah, it would. It would breaking the screw over the other families. I mean, he told us the red crystal outside was his families, but he could be lying to us. But I don't know. He's been pretty honest so far, so maybe he's not. Yeah. I don't know. I look. I'm just look. Maybe I just. I don't know. I, yeah, yeah. I mean, red is. Yeah, you roll. Color? You you make a good point. You make a good point, Rizek. What are we gonna do? What are you guys thinking, huh? No, oh, he's still here. Huh? Right, well, one, we're gonna lower our voices. And you see Bart just kind of lean in closer. There you go. I mean, we're not gonna do anything until we see anything Correct. weird happening. So, I'll... also, you're not really part of this. So step back. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, let's be honest. Realistically, we've accomplished our part of the goal. We have the bark. That's going to save Camden. Whatever happens from here on out is on him. Oh, yeah, no. You're not wrong. I was just, you know, well, know passing thought. An intrusive thought. You know, what if he I mean, brings I think all we the can trees? All... And yeah, I think we can all... An evil warlord. Like... Yeah. Land. You know, it's just... Yeah, if he starts, like, hacking away at one of the other family's trees, you probably should be like, maybe don't do that, and, like, maybe step in, possibly? I don't know. Or maybe leave. We'll write a strongly worded letter, at the very least. While they're talking about this, can I just look at the statues and see if there's <laughs> anything recognizable, even words, uh, languages, Most is one taller it, than it, the other? They, Cause there's there is one. Uh, one of them is taller than the other two, for sure. Is it the one he's at? Mm-hmm. The one he's looking at. Uh, each one overlooking one of the chests. And the one he's at, definitely uh, bigger than the other two. Mm -hmm. But they've been pretty much carved down by time. Are their feet still there? Is their feet bigger or something larger than that one? Uh, the feet are still there, yeah. Um, the feet are a little larger. 
Well, theirs is probably the in the shape of like a, I would assume a Goliath, probably one of their ancestors, I would assume, right? Or is it a, what's, what is, what is the shape? Like, how, what does the statue look like? Is it a man, a woman, a Goliath, a human? You can't tell gender. It's been worn away so much and most okay. of the limbs have fallen off. So if you look at the ground, the broken pieces of stone that you can piece together, uh, you can just really only tell like the basic outline of what was there at one point, and maybe generally the pose it was in. Well, they made this whole temple out of this really nice stone and made these statues out of this terrible stone. I wonder why that well, was. Well, the, the temple itself has been worn away mm -hmm. about the same amount, but there just wasn't the same fine detail in the statue work that there was on the walls and the pillars. What are those things doing? You start yeah. to see more and more. There's maybe a, a half dozen eyes just poking out from the top. And based on their heads, how tall do I think they are? I tried They the... seem small. They seem <laughs> okay. small, okay. but hard to get in a bread box. Can I wave? Small but mighty? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to wave to one. Yeah. You wave to one and you see three of them go. <laughs> hey. Uh, Rizek, can you make some lights come out of your hand? Sure. Um, any type of color like or shape really... you want to. Um, just make it really cool. Okay, you got it. Uh, uh so I'll make, I'll make like kind of a rainbow of like little kind of like glowing like diamonds kind of start floating out of my hand. And just oh. kind of like go around our group a little bit. Okay. Diamonds in the sky. I'm Diamond. just like looking to like where they were. And one of them pops out and you hear that <laughs> same. Ooh. And <laughs> more of them smaller. pop out. Nice. And start watching the lights. And you start I'm to hear chattering. It's too, it's too soft to actually make out, but you hear chattering. And then a shuffling sound. And all of a sudden, Twelve or so of these beings descend from the sky, jumping oh. out at you, and they start to float slowly down at you with sticks, almost in the size of spears. And you hear like, "What did you?" No. And they just like open a jar, honey, to sneak attack you all, but sneak attack. Very slow sneak attack. In their oh, minds, okay. almost like a okay. war cry as they float down Waikiki. towards you, and they what's they, the other one? They, they land and Dresden, three of them start whacking you with their <laughs> smallish sticks, breaking them on your armor, uh, it. laughing Not good almost maniacally. Uh, <laughs> as the others like fend, face off, Cornelia one lands in front of you, holding a stick like a rapier. This is a bikini and. Uh, this one starts to, with a mini flourish, face off against you. Uh, Kelwise, the same. Are they the wearing same. the cape? And they all have capes. Yeah, these these almost transparent capes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna pull out my shield and my sword, but I'm I don't, I'm gonna try not to use the sword. Okay. Maybe like the, yeah. Maybe the and... hilt of the sword. The one, the one you're facing off again, you pull out a, a shield, and it looks around, picks up a rock, and holds it almost as if a shield, and it's oh. all its hand. Oh my god. And a stick. I'm square off. And they're learning. Yeah. <laughs> just circle and like, around. And it just circles they're around with you. Never attacking. Kind of jump scare him a little bit. Yeah. And it just throws the rock at you. It backs off. Let's see. Right. Yeah, I'll, I'll chase him out of the room. Doesn't, doesn't hit you. Screen. Yeah. You start to chase uh, this bikini, and the bikini just flees instantly, screaming at the top of its lungs. And you guys see Kelwise just chase this thing out the front door. There's one down. And Kelwise, let you us, see as it as it runs out, yeah. it like hits the steps and just coo -coo, shoo, and it just its feet oh. leave the ground and it starts to almost glide. It's a huge leap. It's jumping from the edge of this temple all the way across that big chasm that you had uh, that you guys had all traversed with those ropes and it just lands all the way on the other side of the bank and it, it flashes you its butt and starts smacking it 
That's uncalled for. Hey, Did it appear like the propulsion was based off like the leg strength of the creature, or did the creature seem lighter than air as it flew upward? You noticed a very visible gust of wind almost pick this thing up and mm. carry it, and then as it was hits its apex, it grabs its cape and holds it almost like a, a, Mario. a very <laughs> Mario Brothers-esque, yeah, and, and he just kind of floats down with it, steering it left and right until uh, it lands. Okay. We're gonna need those capes. And the, yeah, uh, Is there Cornelia, one near me? Uh, and it you're you're still on the uh, platform, right? Uh, no, I snuck back down. But I don't oh, know you where snuck I back went. down? Then yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you you're right behind the three that are attacking Dresden, and uh, one of the cool. bikinis starts to climb Dresden uh, Dresden's armor, and <laughs> jumps up on uh, his shoulders with a stick and just kind of like. Ah. I would like to <laughs> grab the if I can. It's probably too high for me. If I can grab its cape and yank its cape and try and take the cape while pulling it off of Dresden. Okay, you grab the cape and instantly this one, the bikini, just like eyes wide. <laughs> Roll a strength check, or an athletics, as you try and rip this thing down. Get it! Hold on, I don't have my little... Oh, my glasses! Oh. My bottom! Roll it Just hope it doesn't grab onto my nose. Uh, yeah, and it, it, it instantly grabs your face, like... It's like both nostrils, just... Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, there's no need for violence. Mm -hmm. Everyone settle. Mm -hmm. Strength, where are you? I have been burned recently, so please <laughs> grip me gently. I have been badly burned. <laughs> Wait, why am I? Oh, duh, plus one. Okay, uh, it's a, it's an eight. An eight. Oh. You don't manage to pull this thing down, but you, you do notice that the cape, the strength of the cape, Despite being so light, it's very tough and durable material. You pull and you pull, and this one bikini just grabs Dresden's head <laughs> in this like death lock, <laughs> legs lapped like locked under his chin, arms around his head, and she just. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, help me get this coat off this thing. Uh, Let's just calm down. Uh, I'll need some music for this. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll do a silent image, and I'll make the image of a very, a very beautiful uh, wild leg dancer who starts kind of dancing with some flowers around them. And he's like, oh, hey, look at this. Why, why TT? Ooh, t -t -t, why TT? Uh, hey. And uh, you make that image, and four or five of them run over to it, like completely perplexed looking, just looking, poking, and then when their hand goes through it, just like, ah! and the one on you, Dresden, uh, starts rocking back and forth, pointing at it, like asking you to, <laughs> asking you to walk over there. Is it, yeah. It's, 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 it's humping right. my head. <laughs> it's rocking back and forth. That's like James. This. Can I just sort of. Uh, yeah. Roll it. Roll an athletics check as it, you try and pull it off and it just. Locks on. I mean, I'm gonna get into the, the. Oh God. I hate these You're gonna scruff. That's uh, a ten. A ten. <laughs> you you managed to pull it off of your back, and then slowly so set attached? it down. Uh, no, 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 because it, it had tugged its cape away from you. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you managed to. Oh, and it I just. Dropped. It, 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 like, it crosses its arms instantly, even before you set it down, and it just slowly, like, you set it down. And then it just sits down, uh, cross-legged, the second you put it down. We provide like entertainment and, and, uh, we provide entertainment and some, uh, amazing honey, uh, food of the gods, uh, the offerings for all of you. Yes. This is honey. I mean, never to go to your circus, guys. And, uh, pu you pull out honey and... A bunch of them, and they run over and they look at it, and they do the same thing and touch it and eat it, and then they, like, they don't know. They just don't know if they like it, if they hate it. It's just like the space. Then, 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 then I take the jam out, and I'm just like holding two, just. And then they try the jam. Try our jam as well. 
Cornelia Co. Ah, oh, grab the jam, away. and they all start just giant handfuls because their hands oh, are small. They reach oh, in God. and just. I get oh. a second jar. Yeah, and then they just start diving on this stuff. And uh, the one, I the one who, I start the one who deep. first started drinking it, uh, <laughs> Pop, tries to run and jump on your shoulders as well. I catch him. They spin him around. <laughs> okay, and as you spin around. <laughs> You just whoop, almost lift off the ground for a second. Uh, Wee, that's fun. I keep spinning. Okay, <laughs> and as you spin, the thing, uh, like, it's laughing in your hands. It's just, like, having a ball. And then it grabs its cape. It grabs its cape with both hands. And this is a board short. Grabs its cape, and pup, you start to just shoo up into the air. Effortlessly. You guys, holding this thing. Out! You guys see pup oh. jump, maybe... 30 feet into the air and then slowly just descend back I, down like, on the other side. I want to like let go when I'm in midair and try to do like two double backflips and like land super cool. Okay, roll a roll a acrobatics. Great. There's a hey, guy puppy. communing up there. Everyone. I rolled an 18 plus 5 23. Yeah. Pop. Oh, and I'll make the sound of like gas like <gasps> oh, oh, oh. And, uh, Please keep it Rezik, down. Yeah, pop you this amazing uh, Olympic quality Muni. backflip triple twist with a you stick the landing both feet. Uh, Rezik, you gasp and start clapping, and they all look at you, look at each other. Oh, <gasps> ah, ah, yes, yes, culture. yes, yes. And they look yes. around. Culture, culture. And pup, when you smile as they do that, then they're like. Ah, and start getting really into it. And then they cool. just keep keep clapping, nodding to each other. These guys oh, are like the minions. I like love them so much. Can we try to take a cape off? Yeah, I to... to... I'm like... Yeah. You want to try to take one. a cape off one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah while, they're, so... while they're distracted by eating or clapping. Yeah, so you start after to lift... After that scene, killing all of these things after they go ape, after you take this cape off, is going to be <laughs> horrifying. <laughs> Uh, you start to take a cape off of one, <laughs> and uh, you you notice uh, you start to grab one and start lifting the cape, and 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 you're not absolutely sure, but this could be the one that you <laughs> turned down. It's one of the bikinis. It's the because they look so similar, right? Yeah, it's almost <laughs> impossible. They look identical. She looked you'd angry. Have to, you'd have to look in her eyes, yeah. That's Better. how you'd know. Yeah, I Wait, mean... these, these are the ones we know? Those tears. Mm, I doubt Bart, it. Bart, so, do you want to step in at some point? You yeah. know these so you start to lift it up and over and uh, roll it. Roll a sleight of hand. Let's see if you can take this thing off without it noticing. Ooh. Well, before it notices. Oh, oh God. Do they, do they have a glimmer of, like, distraught in their face <laughs> as I pull this off? Just, like, you know. Hard to tell. Though? I mean, are you just... Walking up to oh, one and God. pulling the cape off, or are you walking behind it and trying to slip the no, cape no, over I'm, their head? No, no, I'm doing it sneakily. I'm doing it sneakily. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's hard to tell because you're not, you can't see really see their face. Yeah. Uh, seven? <laughs> A seven. You start to lift it up and it instantly goes <sighs> caught on their hand, <laughs> uh, the neck, and it grabs it with both hands and you just like lift it up just like an inch off the ground. Why did he? If I were to try to fling the creature and like as an attempt to dislodge the, does it, no, never mind. Uh, I didn't say that out. Loud. Oh, we're having fun with cape flinging that ride. Was, Look at the cape flinging an, ride, everyone. Was, He's just having fun. Uh, so I'll was, just like apologize and dust it off and hope. Can I attempt to barter hmm. our jars of jelly for? Uh, sure. Capes? Sure. Why Absolutely. Do ka? It looks at you and it holds out the jar hands for the jar. I'm gonna think it's a dowry. Why did I I'll make the image of a of the cape. This for this. And you make an image of the cape and four or five of them dive at the cape instantly and just <laughs> smash into each other and fall down. <laughs> It seems you, you you try and barter with this thing and 
it doesn't seem to understand the concept of trade from what you're grasping you like it goes like this you do that and it's like yeah and then you hold the jar out and it just holds its hands out it doesn't seem to know what you're asking uh all right example um hey can i have some honey please pup for this no rock no that's stupid give me a better trade oh oh that's that's bartering uh no that's stupid uh for this feather pen i've killed like 30 birds yes dang it okay well this is just ex example of bartering um, speak coming guys <laughs> your fancy <laughs> really how's it going up there <laughs> ah oh and they all start clapping again for you oh wait wait make me make, make 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 the image of of the thing again and then i'll make the jar and then we'll trade that ready? okay all right Run into each other again <laughs> here you go ytz you trade, a, you trade yeah. a cape for a... Da. You trade a cape for a, a jar of honey? Like a uh, of fake a, cape? A jelly. Yeah. And they all look... <gasps> Ooh. And they start bowing to both of you. <gasps> Very uh. similarly to where, the way that they did when uh, Kelwise received a cape. And then and then, then now, now, now I give a jar of jam <laughs> to one of them. And okay. it just takes it. No, nah, like I'm holding on, like like I'm trying to. Mm, okay, I grabs see. it. And it's like. Uh... And then and then I reach for the cape, like as he's holding it too. And kind of like. Holds on to its cape, <laughs> tries to tug this thing out of here. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like tugging on the cape while holding <laughs> the jam. <laughs> yeah. Easily is covered. And he, and he he just kind of uh, this board short just kind of slides across the floor as you pull him. Because he just really doesn't weigh that much. And then you, like, lift him up, and he, like, it's weightless, almost. As I, and then I finally, it, but... he, like, unties it and drops, uh... Oh, did my... Camera died. Uh oh my camera, camera died. died. Anyway. He's like, okay, everyone, uh, everyone freeze also. So he doesn't feel left out. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Good. Excellent. Oh, sorry. Uh -oh. I so, up, my man. camera actually died, died. Um... This is... <laughs> it might be a while. <laughs> Did you try turning it on and turning it back well, off and then well, turning it back on again? That's not good. There we go. There you go. Um, oh, beautiful. Um, yeah, and eventually it, it like... <laughs> it undoes the cape, lets you take it, and holds the jar of and, honey. And I... Yeah. Or the jar of uh, jam. Jam. Nice. Bye, and then, guys, it walks over and, like... Grabs your leg. It looks out to the rest, and everyone, all of them, kind of walk over and ooh, and start bowing to you guys. Are you married? Now? <laughs> and they all kind of jump back, <laughs> grabbing whatever sticks they can find. And I fold it, and I and I put it in my little bag. I got another jar of jam, and I. <laughs> and the one holding your leg. Looks at you and goes. Wait, did he? What did he do? What did he do? What did he do? And it just like points to the two of you. Ooh, this Hachi. is intense bartering. Go. go outside and sit on the steps. And it just doesn't understand. It's just like. <laughs> I like pat him on his head and I hand a jar to the next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and all the other. None of the other ones even, like, it almost seems to them like a dangerous proposition at this point. They, like, look at you very wearily. <laughs> and all of them kind of back away. And you notice the one board short that's kind of holding onto your leg just a little bit. He's, like, glaring at all of them. Just mean mugging all of them. Yeah, Rezik, your turn! Can I throw him the jar? Um, we got uh, jam here, jam. I'll just kind of just walk around for a while while everybody's doing their thing. Is kind of offering up jam. Jam, anyone? Jam, jam. Jam. 
Yeah, they all seem very pensive. How many wildlings are still hanging out? There's maybe a dozen of them. A dozen. Can I try to like charm them into like doing this again or not? I mean, it seems like, from what you know, it seems like you've entered into a, an engagement with this one, and the other ones uh, seem very into uh, monogamy. I would like to start playing music. Okay, yeah. Nice romantic tune. Nice. Okay, you start playing a, a nice romantic song, and uh, trying to get them to just throw their start cakes to, at you. They all start to. Uh, Sway back and forth, <laughs> assuming it's a waltz uh, key. Mm -hmm. and so they all start to. What do you think the odds are we could get him drunk and have him pass out? And take <laughs> kids? I thought it wouldn't take Cornelia, much. get your flask. No, Cornelia, pull out the. Uh, you had something else. Brown bottles. The good stuff. Oh, style. yeah. Can I just try something really quick as well? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. Is there still one around me? Are they all are around? Yeah, they're. I mean, they're all just kind of they're mulling everywhere. about. Yeah, dancing and swaying I, to the music. I kind of. I wanted to use my mage hand and play with my cape, like there's wind under it, and kind of dance around. But then, like, bear with me if this is possible at all, actually. And then, like go buy one and change, like, exchange capes, maybe, without them noticing. Okay. Uh, roll an arcana check. Let's get your mage hand uh, billowing uh, your cape. What's that mage? Natural one. <laughs> oh, another one? Okay. Yeah. You, Throw that dice away. You have this, uh, I the mage hand, dice. the mage hand oh, grabs no. your cape and starts going like this. It looks very unnatural <laughs> as far as wind goes, but it's doing it. And, uh, it's kind of, you're trying to grab it. You know that your mage hand has something to do connections to this wind. Uh, and it starts gusts of wind from the mage hand just start going by as if the mage hand was just whacking your cape up into the air. Are they convinced? <laughs> <laughs> uh, does it doesn't seem like any of them are really taking no, note no, no. of you. It's just kind of like they're still really into this uh, waltz time. Uh, Alright, well, can I still try to change out Kate's? <laughs> sure, roll a sleight of hands. <laughs> it might still work. They're like just swindling all these wildlings now. They can make. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> A two plus five. Seven. So you go to touch one of the capes uh, of one of the board shorts, and uh, he kind of looks at you like as you're doing it. Your hand is just like, and he like onto his cape and just. Can I just start massaging him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you start to massage and just ah. It you starts like to that? just yeah. eyes roll back at its head, and then it looks up at you. <gasps> takes its cape off and offers it to you. It's a trap. It's a trap. I've been there. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, oh yeah, you take God. it. And <laughs> oh, just jumps up. One of those, oh, that's great, huh, everybody? Jumps up into the air and just <laughs> starts doing his big old dance and, like, runs up and his legs are just going crazy and gives you, like, a big hug and, like, starts swirling around in circles with you. And now you have a cape. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hug him too, and then try to fly. Okay, <laughs> you put on the the cape, and it's interesting. You can start to feel something um, different about the way the air is moving in this place. It's almost like you could reach out and grab it, um, but it, it that itself isn't isn't much. But you remember how like the wind had shook your hand it had done all these things you might be able to use the wind and the 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 force in your mind of your mage hand to maybe stir the wind or something or even interact with it call upon it 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It would be something you'd have to try. Is there something that's a few feet up off the ground that I can stand on or like there's climb the, up the, the, the pillar? The dais a is 10, there's 10 a man. feet. That, yeah, there's true. a man 10 feet above us that's just trying to concentrate desperately on talking to ancient peoples and you could jump off that. That's too, way too high, man. Are you going to catch me? I'll catch you. Sure. I'll come back inside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. I'm going right. to do it then. Okay, yeah, you, you stand on and top gonna... of that thing, and uh, the the other uh, wildling wants to go with you. All right, that's fine. And I'm going to, okay. before I jump, I'm going to, like, listen for any kind of breeze and just be like, hello? <laughs> okay. Let's see if it stirs a little. Yeah, and you feel like a cool breeze almost come by and throw your hair into your face again, but it catches the cape in such a way that it almost knocks you over. Hmm. And you kind of feel a strange sensation with the wind itself, um, almost daring you to propel yourself forward. All right, Dresden, I'm going to jump. All right, I'm here. Okay, roll an arcana. For your uh, mage hand. Okay. Jump. Come on, jump, jump, jump. New day. Jump. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thirteen. Thirteen. You, you. Uh, the wind. You feel the the hand. You materialize it, and it blows just ever so softly through your cape, and shoof, you take off, very uh, haphazardly. Roll a, a, a af, uh, acrobatics check now. <laughs> yeah, Justin's like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, and Cornelia goes way over your head. And it's back. It's back. Uh, Dresden starts to run back uh, to catch him. Uh, 13? A 13. You start to waver, right? Uh, noticing that, like, you'd have to, like, start throwing the wind in different directions. Um, and you, you manage to. St- Keep yourself afloat for a little while until shoot you you turn downward and just like a rocket shoot towards the ground as Dresden dives. Uh, roll an athletics check, Dresden. Uh, nineteen. A nineteen. And you managed to catch Cornelia uh, uh, just barely. As you see that Sounds other... like pots and pans as I'm running, too. Yeah. My arm. <laughs> and uh, you you guys see uh, all the other uh, wildlings have been watching you. And that one Cornelia that you had uh, engaged into a relationship with looks at you. <gasps> hops off the dais and just kind of floats slowly down to the ground. Almost as if he was standing on some kind of elevator made of wind. And then runs over to you. To check out and make sure you're okay. Wow. Wow. It's your wife. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna hold his hand and just hang out. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And he seems like nothing has ever been this good or will be this good ever <laughs> again in his life, and he is just taking in the moment, savoring that happy feeling. Yeah. He's coming with us. This is going to save Cornelia. All the flirty, flirty boys. Um, actually, can I jump up back to where Thargan is just to watch him and make sure? Uh, Are you going to do it with your he needs with me. the with the wind? Okay, roll Thar- a roll another Arcana. Thargan's already become the big bad. He's already uh, ruined and yeah, everything. And, and, He's and gone. you you now yeah, notice yeah. like one of the things He's you notice, gone. Cornelia, is that with these 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 very special capes made from that silk. That, being wound from the those weird little bluish caterpillars you barely pushed at all with your mage hand before and it sent you launching you could only imagine like how incredibly dangerous this would be if there was either strong wind or uh, you pushed too hard like it could it could literally be deadly to somebody uh, you assume what is this six do a six so you 
blow, uh, you're still getting used to this. It's so foreign to you that every fiber of your being is just kind of like, let's try this, let's try this. And it, it doesn't feel natural, but you blow yourself up maybe a couple feet and then straight into the dais uh, wall and just <laughs> and slide down the side of it. Uh, roll a athletics or a acrobatics check. Man, these rolls. Uh, 12. A 12. Uh, yeah, you managed to catch yourself at the last second as you fall off and hit the ground, but it was very close to you. Uh, cause for the most part, it's, it's tough because you saw them holding the cape, but to hold the cape with both hands means you don't have your hands in front of you to block whatever's there. So it's, it's a matter of like floating over towards it and then really quickly putting your hands up and then the wind instantly just falls out of the, uh, the cape. And so you kind of smack against this wall, um, uh, pretty hard, not enough to cause damage, but pretty hard. Yeah. Uh, what are the rest of you guys doing? <laughs> well, just seeing, tried... seeing what I can see up there. What's he doing up there? What's Thargan he, is he doesn't look the like world he's yet? moved at all. Is he still trying he's to listen just... desperately? Uh, probably. While I run I mean, around bashing assume... pots and pans together <laughs> and everyone's yeah. like, there's a circuit. <laughs> and there's a certain echo to this place just being an open <laughs> chamber. Every noise... Uh, bounces back and forth a hundred times before exiting. Uh, I'll climb up next to him. Just to see what's up okay. there. Why not? You climb up, uh, and uh, Thargan kind of looks up at you. Ah, Dresden. Uh, it does seem Sorry. like it'll be some time. Uh, maybe we should make camp for the night. Since sure. we did spend most of the day traveling. And, uh, uh, inside, outside, what do you think? Leave in the morning. Well, maybe you start a camp, campfire outside. We can all sleep in here, I'm sure. Yeah. All right, I can uh, start Although, setting up something. There is ventilation. We could just set up the camp in here too. We just well, that's one. sort of where my head was at. There's holes in the ceiling. Yeah, that's true. Terrible craftsmanship, for sure. Does not pass the I mean, Adgarad seal standard. I mean, I don't know whose parents made it, but, right? Truly. Truly. Your, your parents. Yeah. Anyway, um, I don't My know. If it's blasphemy to have a fire in here. Yeah. I, I highly doubt it. All right, cool. If, all right. if my uh, ancestors yeah. were or anything like who we are today, then I'm sure a fire is fine. We want to have a fire in here near the trees? I mean, in, they're... In the boxes? Yeah. They're in the boxes. I don't know. Resi, yeah, uh, can magic have... trees survive proximity to fire? I'm sure they'll be fine. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to make a magic tree. No one knows. Though. Well, and uh, you guys see... Uh, uh, Bartholomew has maybe scribbled three or four pages of notes by this point, just watching Cornelia uh, fly off the dais and then fly straight into the dais. Um, he's, he's got these notes, and he's... Well, you know, if you just put the fire on that side, you wouldn't have to worry about it, yeah? It's like 50 feet here. You can just go 20 feet that way. Make a fire. Yeah, I think... I don't think we were worried about the actual fires, more maybe the smoke or something like that. Who's ever heard of a smoke killing a tree? Who's, Who's ever, ever heard, heard of a magic of a tree? tiny bonsai magic tree I have. inside of a There's stone If you worry about One right there. just make it outside. Yeah, I'll just make it outside. I'm just gonna make it outside. <laughs> All right. All right. We don't join you, Dresden. All right, break. Let me help. And he kind of yeah. walks out with you. Come on. Uh, Get some sticks. There's stuff. Oh, is there wood what? here? Is is wood uh, more precious than diamonds here as well? <laughs> well, there's some bushes and some vines and such. I'll go right, find some, some dry ones. ones. And there's some. Uh, there's a lot of dry uh, wood in inside. Uh, a lot of roots that have peeled through and vines that have maybe dried out and died long ago. You need a and knife? He, he starts to run around and collect those. Yeah, hey, now I got a knife. That's not a knife. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's a rapier. And he starts <laughs> hacking away with his rapier. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, what are the rest of you guys doing? 
It seems well, like uh, Fitz just starts setting up a camp and a campfire in the uh, near near kind of the campfire outside. I wanted to ask Thargan if he figured out what was wrong with the tree. We came here because you thought something was dying. I mean, did you did you figure it out? And he looks down at you uh, from the dais. Uh, well, I'm trying to determine that right now, but uh, this is all new to me, and I'm trying to take it very slowly as not to uh, disturb anything, as it were, uh, in Makes case sense. I, you know, uh, haphazardly uh, break this covenant. I want to make you sure that have, doesn't happen. You'd mentioned that the roots were going into the floor. Do you think maybe the the cause of it, the root cause of it, could be down below us? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I still don't know if the tree itself is sick. It, it just seems like these roots buried deep, deep into the stone. I can't really see past that. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I wish I had some answers for you. But that, uh, unfortunately, is going to take some time. Perhaps it's part of what we try to figure out tomorrow morning. Well, uh, I'll study it tonight, and if you want to get some rest, uh, I'll tell you all that I find in the morning. Works for me. I'll go set up camp. Okay, yeah. Um, and Fitz seems like he's ready to, ready to sleep. A little tuckered out. Same with Bartholomew. Spend most of the day walking, so you you travel. Yeah. Uh, and I'll just I'll just sit yeah. down with everybody at the campsite, and I'll just start examining that pauldron. I wanted to see if like, cause just because in oh, better. Oh, oh, two down. I know <laughs> where to go. Hey, no I'm going for a bingo. But yeah, uh, it, it, just because I feel like after seeing that, it's it, you know it allowed um, Thargan to walk again. This has a lot of potential applications uh so i'm just gonna study it and try to see if there's anything anything i can i can at all like find out from looking at it and examining it for a while okay yeah uh so you start to study that um for a good hour or so and it, it's tough that there's that rune on the shoulder blade that you had seen that you know was a, a ward of sorts against uh, very specific magics uh trust had found out uh, firsthand other than that, it doesn't seem like there's any residual magic left on these things. It's just a, a big old piece of iron, for the most part. Not crazy. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hi. It look crazy enough. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean that, that's mostly what you find out. There's just a giant piece of metal that you're holding <laughs> in your hands. I'll just log that in my journal. Just, just a very, it's just a very interesting find um, yeah. and situation altogether. Like being able to walk again is insane, and that could help Fitz. That could help maybe Eva. So I'm gonna. This is cool. Um, yeah. All right. I'm gonna look for another piece of it. See if it's suitable for cooking with. Yeah, I mean the shoulder plates are probably uh, the, those pauldrons on the shoulders are probably the best. Yeah. For that kind of thing, or even a a breastplate, no, if you would... could crack it in half, uh, the breastplate itself would make a great cooktop. Although it's very very heavy. I mean, I don't need to go anywhere. I just need to bother Rezik by doing it. So, okay, <clears throat> I'll just do yeah. that. <laughs> oh, just gonna cook on a, an ancient artifact. That's fine. <laughs> that's that's totally fine. I'm gonna be over here examining it and trying to get information from it. So you have fun well, with let that. Let me know. When, let me know when you're hungry. I will actually. I'm gonna season it. I got oil. I'm gonna season it. Don't you worry. Yeah, okay. Okay. I feel like Pup is really oblivious to the fact that they just got married. Has like no concept of romance <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah. Whatsoever. Not not a thing that happens and, in this whole uh, brain. And so I'm just like sharing my jar of jam with like what I think is like oh. my new friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I mean, why does it have to be any different? You've just made a mm -hmm. new friend. You've made a new yeah. best friend. Yeah. Yeah. So the lights go and uh, Cornelia, same with you. Uh, the almost city? attached at the hip. Because I want to be there. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you guys doing anything else? Uh, I was going to take out one of those coins that Dresden gave Cornelia 
um, that were like unmarked. Remember in one of the cases on the land bridge? Do you remember, James? Doesn't matter. Yeah, one of the in one of the crates, you <laughs> found uh, some foreign some foreign gold. Um, I uh, it I was think, a pouch yeah, or something. Yeah. One of us did, and then we gave it to Cornelia to hold. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was just gonna pull one of those out and see and show it to Bart and ask if he knows where it's from or if he knows anything about it, or even Thargan as well. Yeah, and he took he takes a look at it and goes, "All right, uh, yeah, looks like they use these uh down near Keldar next." Keldornix, southeast of here. Hey, you have to use gold over there. It's all, uh, it's all icy and stuff. Anything else is gonna rust almost immediately. Good to know. All right, so I'll hang on to this. Yep. Well, that's, that's quite that's a bit. Where, uh, Captain Tide was from uh, that area, I believe. So, um, it's a colder, yeah, colder area. Yeah, well. Take your word what does that for have it. To do with, what does that have to do with rusting? Hmm? The gold? What? Gold coins. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, silver coins and copper coins don't rust either. Do they? Yeah, well, they only use coal over there. It's uh, just part of the culture. Silver coins yeah. probably just uh, too hard to see, easy to lose. Well, I don't know. Look, and we all know the copper cooking. coins get all green and, and dirty looking. And they don't like that. Alright. Suppose mm -hmm. not. Pretty Haven't ever really been down no. there. Where uh, uh where were you before uh you fell into the toilet of uh things that wanna kill us? Yeah. Well, uh and he you, you notice he kind of side eyes Rezik. Well, uh, you know, just coming from my. Coming from Rezik's house? Huh? Yeah, well, no, Rezik's house. You know, I was just, uh, had a little tiff with, uh, with the lady friend. Rezik's tiny sister. Well, you know, well, that's, that's very strange. Meeting Eva. That is strange. Like that, uh, makes me feel strange and weird. Uh, we'll just pretend it's a completely different human being, and, uh... Call her Eve. You know, well... Anywho, it, uh... Things didn't go well, so we went on a bit of an adventure. And that's very specific, though, but, like, physically, where where were you in the, in the grander scale? Well, I went to Edgar Road, bought me a ship. <laughs> right. Took that ship. Crashed it right. into the island, jumped off, barely survived. But didn't you go through the thing? Through the thing? Yeah. Well, then I made it to Wildling Isle. There right. was a confluence there. Right. Went to the confluence. And Popped you out here. Okay. So you went through and you were just on another. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Of course, you were on your own Wildling Isle in a different time and place then or now we well, think so and now how else would i have you gotten here how well, would i know, know all of you the other end of that freaking toilet bowl flushes do you ever look down the follow the toilet pipes i don't they yeah, always thought toilets were a bit of a luxury expense with how much i travel carrying one of those seems eh, not worthwhile very odd man okay so we know there's another an entirely other world that's the same, except apparently just a different time, but also some people are older there. Or you're a pedophile. So mm. we got that. Yeah, what year were you? Yeah, born? we're gonna we're gonna go with a much older there. <laughs> what what year were you born, Bart? What year was I born? Are you just asking how old I am? Or how old are you, yeah. Well, I like to say, I'm a young 30. Hmm. Okay, but, but what year were you born? What year was I born? I don't know. Yeah. Never really, uh... Never really knew my birth date and all that. 
You know oh, this. Oh, you don't know this. Well, I didn't have much not. in the way of, like, parents or livelihood. Grew up on the streets of Mauro. Right, okay, right. But before you crashed your ship, did you know what year it was? Yeah, of course. What year was it? 163. Does that sound even remotely possible? Yeah, and that sounds about... <laughs> That sounds about, uh, and it's uh, for you. You would know Dresden. It's it's one forty three right now. Okay. Oh. So about twenty years. Oh. So, but that's, and he was. So he's oh. ten years old somewhere, running around right now here in the now, maybe. Oh. Really? Well, yeah, that was <laughs> not a great time in my life. Tell you that. Where were you? Where were you when you were ten? Well, I was running around the street tomorrow, stealing Moral. to stay alive. Okay, I mean, I don't need that, but tomorrow? Where's that? Oh, you guys going to pick me up, huh? No, maybe yeah. just kill you. Well, it's let me just tell you, I have a, I have a, a keen, a keen nose for a droid jerky. You might catch me stealing some apples. I like the pink ladies, mostly <laughs> for the name. Where's so, tomorrow? Uh, Moro? That's the city. Right. Near the Shimmer. Near the Shimmer? Yeah. Where's where's the Shimmer? Yeah, it's just south through the pass of uh, Capital City. Okay. You said you bought a boat. What kind of boat were you on? The boat? Oh, yeah, it was just a cheap one. Just the cheapest thing I could find. Single mast. Thing I could steer myself, you know. It was tough yeah. though. Had to get really get the sails down and all that by myself. Tie them all off. Took a good couple of hours, and then to steer the boat as best I could. Would have been easier with three or four, but then, you know, can't waste their lives. You brought that all the way from Adgarad to here. And when you landed here, how did you scale the giant cliffs to get up to the island? Well, I had two pitons in my hands, right? Jump off the front. Grab onto the sides. Not exactly really how pitons work. You're a bold guy. Well, you know, it was just hooks, really. You know, I've, I've looked at the outside of the island. There's lots of handholds and footholds. Although it was hard because I had to steer towards the island, yeah? And then run to the front of the boat. So couldn't really steer it after that. It was I tough. look at everyone. I look at everyone. with that. Why did we take the land bridge of death when we could have just climbed up the side of the mountain? Wasn't this like, well, didn't we? I mean, I'm assuming most people that would have done that would have died. But our friend here seems to be uh, one. Well, we didn't really have any other so choice. Who knows, what it, who knows yeah. what it looks like 20 years from now. With, right? the, uh, with the reef, how it is around the island, uh, any boat that comes near, it's going to get all torn up in the bottom there. My boat was half sinking as it was rolling in. There you go. And you were by yeah. yourself? Yeah, of course. I'm not going to bring others on this crazy journey with me. Right? Why not? Yeah, maybe maybe Trust would have came with me. Huh? Trust? A bit of adventure? <laughs> no? Oh Take that as a no. no. Take that as a Here's no. Here's a question. Here's a question. Where were we during all of this? Oh, I don't know. We split up a while ago. We split up? Well, yeah. What about? What about? Yeah, you fine. guys just had business. You had business to attend to. Or I had business to attend to. We but we left up. on, on uh, good terms? Well, of course. We're the best of friends. I can tell. He did meet us and greet I mean, us. Uh, Dresden, you, you were like a mentor to me. Right? And right. care-wise, you, you taught me the how to use a sword. And this... Oh, I... Fire stock here, yeah? but not the sail. Curious. Anyway, not sail. Well, you know, learned a thing or two about sailing myself. Being from Moro and all. Mm. Makes sense. Yeah. And and you're now you met us after Darthwood. Well, I suppose. Yeah. You weren't there for. You told me a little bit about it. Never been myself. Hey, a whole bunch of weird stuff is over there. Not really into the uh, super strange. 
but I do like ancient artifacts and such. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, checks out is a batshit insane story to me, so, yeah. Well, pretty on brand. I mean, some of the stories you have told me, this might be the, the least strange thing that's happened to you. It's fair. Well, not, not that I'd believe you, but just that purely out of uh, idle curiosity, um, why were you so driven to, to drive alone uh, your boat into the side of an island and crash and then try to get up a wall, like a super crazy wall. Like, what, what was driving you? What was your mission? Well, Rezik, sometimes there's just things. Not gonna answer. There's yep. things that drive you that uh, are worth dying over. You know? Sometimes your life is a small price to pay for what you might gain. Can't jinx it. Didn't want to tell you guys too much, you know, changing the now and then. But uh, let's just say uh, this is, this is, I had my it's reasons. So you keep like telling us only what you want to tell us, and then you are like, "Well, I can't tell you what, like everything." It's like choose either to yeah, tell us. That would ruin. That would ruin the fun, wouldn't it, Rezik? If you could know everything that would happen in your future, from now until the time you died, would you want to know? Listen, Bart, I actually think you're a pretty nice fellow, and I, I I feel bad constantly giving you our time, but you understand that this is, like, literally insane, right? Like, your story is crazy. You is it shoot crazy? magic out of your fingers! Rezik, you have... So do you! The ghost you of your... You have the ghost of your lost sister... Trust, trust you believe ...falling around, this. right, Rezik? How is that money rather... more insane than what's going on with me? Yeah, what he said. Can I do a perception check, like just him talking about coming here? Does it seem... Yeah, I'll roll an insight for you. And He seems to be on the straight and narrow. Like nothing he said really doesn't make out, except for the sake that it's like an insane story. Um, but everything seems to check out. He doesn't seem like he's lying to you. He doesn't seem like a particularly um, savvy person as far as like uh speech craft goes um not like a gimmick it's not like he's acting or something as far as you can tell it, it doesn't okay. seem like it and you know I, I i apologize everyone i mean i i just i'm going off of the knowledge i've learned from the libraries of the commission and i've never heard of any possibility of time travel or alternate realities so this is all very new and kind of unbelievable for me so well, think of it this way, Rezik. I'd rather listen to him and not mess up a timeline. And if he's not telling the truth, it doesn't matter. And if he is telling the truth, we're not screwed over. I don't want you messing up my future. <sighs> well, it seems you've won over trust. Um, I had no idea. Uh, well, all right, well, first, uh, huh? let's just... Let's just go with that then. We'll we'll try to uh, not break the timeline in any way. Um, Sounds good. I mean, we do have to. A lot of good sure memories in your future. I'm excited for you. All right, but don't do that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Just damn suck out my soul. You watch it. Ah, well. I'd rather not. Oh, you know so, about that? You know about vain time? Pretty gruesome. Oh yeah, vain time. Forgot about that. Mm. Well, I'm well, a little tuckered. I'm just glaring at him. I'm just like. Well, let's see. Yeah. See, this is what I happens. Do you feel better, Rizik? Um, his thread isn't up like all of ours. His comes from the side. What? Hmm. Well, it must be because I'm connected to the confluence, yeah? It probably leads yeah. back to the confluence, no? It probably yeah. leads back to wherever his thread uppy is. Because our thread uppy is here, because we're in the now time, and if he's from the before or past the other time, his thread might be connected to that one. You know? Well, it doesn't really sound like... Sideways, and ours are up. 
Doesn't really sound like he wants to go back to where he's from. I think he does. He's just afraid of those things that are going to murder him if he goes near the confluence. Unless I'm wrong. Yeah. You've been here like yeah. three years, right? Well, yeah. Been wandering around three years. Those troggies yeah. set up a pretty mean base over there. Dozens of them. Mm. Maybe try to... I mean, three years is a long time. Maybe dig a tunnel under. No? Dig a tunnel under. The confluence. No. That raging thing it the tear troggies. me to pieces. Well, the troggies. Dig a tunnel under the troggies. Right. To what end? Literally. To get past the them. End where the well, they they is. set up they set up camp, right around the confluence. Oh, I see. Okay. They use it as like an altar or something. They pray to it, make offerings. Nasty bunch. What? Why can't we kill these again? We haven't even tried yet. Troggies. We just came here first. Please do. I hate those little buggers. Little? Well, little. How little? call them little buggers. They're, you know, maybe his size. Points to Rezik. Oh, I can take them. They're not that big. Not that they're particularly uh, fierce, yeah, but there's three dozen of them, maybe, and they got that shaman. He's got all kinds of weird master magic. All right. Um, quick question, just an aside. You've been here three years. You found anything that's poisonous? <laughs> poisonous? Yeah. Hmm. I've seen some poison creatures. Hey, that that uh, that three tooth worm that came out of the ground told you about him? He had a little poison sack on him, but I took care of him. Yeah. All by myself. Congrats. Yeah. Yeah. Haven't seen anything poison like that. Uh, not right. not much of an herbalist myself. They might be some roots or something. Yeah. All right. Point those Just... out next time you see them. I can grab those and we can. Well, try I to... do. I don't know. I'm saying I'm not an herbalist. <laughs> they might be. Might be. I'm not gonna run around eating roots to try and find out though. Yeah, that That's doesn't fair. sound like a good time. That's fair. Oh. Mm. But I Put might have head to in. do that anyway. Uh oh. <laughs> Are you Hope muted? My head. Oh no. I think my audio just cut out again. Are you kidding me? Uh -huh. Good, everybody. Everyone. Uh well it doesn't work when you talk, Rizik. Well, well. <laughs> Well, I was gonna say though, like while while James can't hear us, I'm gonna like while everyone's talking, I'm gonna go over to uh, Pup and be like, Pup, are you serious? Like, the the string for him goes to the side. His is sideways. Oh, it's it goes like... through the through the trees and stuff. So I think that like where his meets isn't where ours meets now. It, it meets where his meets then. And like you just see like my, my like red like I am my mind is like rocked right now at the fact that like there actually is factual evidence that proves that he is not from our like Oh you, you yeah, trust you that pop stuff is so oh <laughs> it's a pixel so that's factual <laughs> <laughs> Also the most okay. trusting guy in the world is just like this guy, no. I but know this guy. <laughs> well, no, he's he's read a lot of books and like it, it's never been heard of. It's cra it's that's crazy. Time travel? It's crazy to him. You do magic and you don't think time travel is possible? Uh, that's amazing. Well, there you know there are Close there are limits minded. to <laughs> these wizards. You watched me suck a soul and you're like, but time travel. <laughs> it's too far. You have to I watched this the lady over here suck a soul somewhere. out of a body. A time uh, travel time travels draw this line <laughs> too far, too far. And uh, we'll for the most part, uh, you guys, you guys see most of the wildlings start to oh, uh, conk out. Can you hear James? I don't hear you, James. You guys, can, you can't hear me. <laughs> no, oh. we can. No, we can, we can, we can hear you. Uh, <laughs> I was like, son of Melissa. a bitch. <laughs> Just remember, Melissa cheats. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's really at home. That's Melissa. what you should remember. Uh, you guys see most of the Whoa. most of them have fallen asleep. <laughs> Fitz, uh, Fitz is long gone, and uh, Bart kind of starts to like nod off. His back is up against one of the uh, the walls as he sits there, and he starts to nod off. And around this fire, you guys have put outside. 
I'm taking first watch, and I'm gonna have one eye on Bart <laughs> and the other eye on this altar. Okay, man. yeah. So you kind of um, sit up opposite, just watching good man. them. Yes. Can I stay up? Can I join you? And can you uh, uh, teach me more? Can we practice? Yes. We cool. can. Hey, if you guys Sir. are staying up, can you help me out of this armor first, though? It's yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you, I got you. Thank you. Thank sure. you. Um, yeah, so you guys uh, you guys stay up uh, warm. practicing halfling. Uh, yeah, no. It's, uh, it's worse. Burned. Uh, Pop, roll a, roll a d20 as you start to learn halfling. Bobby. Natural 20. Net yeah. 20. Nice. Nice. Like that always works for Kate for some reason. Bobby, Bobby, <laughs> so again, again, you, you start to work through the basics of halfling, Pop, and it's, it's a, it's a, it's a hard language just because it's not like common at all while being very similar to common, which is tough like, because of it's like very similar sounding to common but it's all about the intent and the way you say things and one word there's words that don't mean anything and they only come to life based on the intent that you, you put behind them uh even body language um Kelwise, uh really laying a little bit about sarcasm and how prevalent it is just adding another layer of making halfling uh, almost impossible if you weren't born with it. Um, so you guys stay up for about two hours practicing that and pup. Uh, it's starting to make connections in your brain. It's still, you still got a long way to go before you could uh, really interact, but it's there. It's, it's starting to come together. Cool. Uh, yeah. Um, and you guys are sitting there for about two hours. Uh, most things are snoring. A lot of the uh, Azureling are the uh, wildlings snoring, but with a really high pitched tone. It's strange. It almost sounds like a whistle. Uh, as they snore uh, intermittently around. And that's when you guys start to see um, Bart. He starts to move in his sleep, shaking his head. A little bit he wakes up a little bit starts to blink shaking his head again uh, just as if in a haze and that's when all of you it's not that you lose consciousness but you're all conscious within another body of sorts all of you seemingly just wake up somewhere else in someone else cornelia you find yourself jumping from tree to tree and you hear laughing behind you this this laughing sound and you yourself are laughing and having fun just jumping tree to tree uh slipping through almost letting the wind guide you and as you turn behind you to see something chasing you a small gnome girl with these huge fierce green eyes these two big eyes uh and these big pink braids down the back gives you this cheesy grin and she laughs as she chases you from branch to branch until you finally hit a branch and slip the branch breaks beneath you and you start to fall and tumble and just before you hit the ground you close your eyes and cross your face and then you feel something soft and cool sweep you up and gently put you back down again almost a hand uh, you open your eyes and you see her laughing just cackling to her and that's when you notice she's got freckles down her cheeks and they're glowing almost and the more she laughs the more they glow and you smile and you shake your head you dust off uh your pants um and you see her come gliding towards you more and more and more as this big gust of wind shoo, and you wake up at the same time kelwise you're breathing heavily sweat dripping down your face as you are in this dark dark room lit only by a small lantern and you look up and you see something a staircase made of wood very uh, 
strange. It's not like the wood itself has been carved, but grown. Each step uh, almost just roots on roots, and you walk up, and as your sweat drips off of your face, it drips onto the lantern and sizzles just a little bit, and it's that smell almost of salt. And it, as you continue walking up these steps over and over, and you can feel this burn in your legs, this this deep, deep burn like you've been climbing for forever. Um, you head up and up and up, and finally there's just this pinprick of light beams out above your head, and you head towards it, winding around and around and around endlessly. And after maybe what seems like an hour, you finally come to this this light coming out of the side of a wall and you break through this precipice as this cool night air floods your face and as you look up you see above you nothing but an ocean of trillions and trillions of lights sparkling waving endlessly and flowing through the throwing to the sky and you, you smile this weight lifted off of your shoulders as if a hundred years of longing for something and you finally have it in your grasp and you fall to the floor and right before you hit the floor, whew, you wake up. Trust. There's this huge crash as lightning strikes next to you as a violent wave of sand sprays up and you go shooting into it and it just bounces ricocheting off these thick, thick goggles you have and this handkerchief mask across your face. You look up and see a dark, cloudy sky and there's electricity just dancing back and forth, back and forth, almost playfully until it hits the ground right next to you as you dodge to the side and you find yourself um, on what looks like almost a, a board of sorts with a sail in it and you're holding onto the sail skiffing back and forth and back and forth through these sand dunes um and you look behind you and you see this wall of sand the storm wall coming shooting towards you as this torrent of winds keeps just ahead of it and you skiffing maybe 50 feet in front of this giant storm wall hundreds and hundreds of feet high and you, you, you go skittering around, dodging lightning, and just in the distance, you see this huge rock outcropping with a, with a giant jutting out stone that you might use for cover. Uh, you skiff towards it, and you just dive, coming sliding almost to a complete stop under this, under this giant rock as a sand wall comes flying towards you and explodes over you. And right as that happens, you <gasps> come to a, a wake. Awakeness. Awakeness? You awaken. Uh, at the same time, Dresden, uh, you wake up on a war horse. A huge, thoroughbred war horse. Bigger than anything you've really seen in your life. And you are running at a breakneck pace through this hilly forest. And you're slipping past branches and obstacles uh, by just hairs margin you're just slipping uh, very very uh uh proficiently uh and on either side of you you see two other riders of equal talent laughing and yelling challenges back and forth it's a it's almost a race and that's what you think is you're just staying ahead of them and just staying ahead of them until this huge crash happens in front of you and you see a, a large redwood sized tree just go flying and ahead of you and you look behind you for a second and this enormous creature with a nearly 75 foot wingspan just starts chasing you flying above the treetops grabbing forest chunks of forest launching them at you uh, and you dodge left and right but the spirit everyone happy gleeful almost excited and thrilled and that's when you see it, almost an explosion from the sky is like a meteorite. A man in full armor comes exploding straight down out of the sky, a spear in his hand, smashes into this creature, just tearing it from the sky, and it crashes to the ground, exploding with this huge sound rocking the ground. And you hear uh, 
coming out of your voice. Hey! Took you long enough, L. You're starting to lose your touch! As this giant dust wave comes, shoof, and you wake up. At the same time, Rezik, um, it's snowing. There's ice biting at your face, tearing at you. You can feel small cuts uh, just trickling in. And you look down, and there's this humongous great axe in your hand. And you look up, and you see a figure in the distance. You explode out holding this great axe above your hand and smash it down as your opponent narrowly dodges to the side, uh, blocking it. He jumps, shoots at you, grabs you. You tumble to the ground back and forth, just punches and elbows. You feel your nose explode, warm blood flowing down your face as you engage in this primal, primal combat. And at that second, you pull out a knife and just the last second stab right into its neck rip it out as a gush and a geyser of the more warm blood just starts to wash all over you steaming in this dark 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 night um the 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 opponent holding his neck you see him you stand above him your foot comes up and crash crunch you smash his skull in Breathing heavily, smoke coming out of your mouth, you look up to see tiny trees, maybe a couple feet tall. And below that, you see a, a small, miniature looking village with 20 or 30 mini people coming at you with huge weapons to them and spears screaming out of the gate, charging towards you. You look to them, and you smile, just this wicked smile covered in blood. You hold up your great axe, and you swing it down on these small creatures, and poof, you wake up at the same time. At, this, at that moment, Pup, you are just on this cool gray stone lounging in the sun. Um, a stream is nearby. It's a s warm day. Um, a strange sensation of wholeness uh, fills you, being satiated, uh, just content. Um, you look over and you hear something in a bush nearby, and you sit up, not defensively, just quizzically, as this small, tiny little creature... Uh, very similar to an Azureling, uh, but maybe a little smaller, big, black bug eyes. And it's dragging a sack full of what looks like feathers. Just this tiny sack of feathers over his back. Like this. Comes and, like, looks up to you. And you let out this laugh. Uh, a very effeminate laugh. Um, and you pull out a piece of bread out of your bag as you s search around. Uh, and in that moment, you kind of notice something... Um, Purple, almost a mist coming out of the bag, very similar to that ingot you guys had uh, of core. Um, but you don't seem to notice that. You just dig around in your bag and you pull out a piece of bread and hold it. And this thing kind of looks at you wearily, moving back and forth as it slowly moves up. Grabs the bread out of your hand, jumps behind a stone and you hear... <laughs> And it goes quiet, and you hear, you see, the thing pops out, breadcrumbs all over its face. And you go, okay, and you pull out, and you dig for another piece of bread. You're digging deep, you're digging deep, um, and you start to feel groggy. You shake your head just a little bit, and you pull out another piece of bread, and blinking, just strange, this wave of lethargy. You look out and you offer the bread, but you find he's he's gone. He's not there anymore. And you look around to your left in the tree line. That's when you hear something. <laughs> coming from behind you and you look and his head is in your bag. Just two little legs sticking out of your bag, just chewing. <laughs> and you kind of chuckle and you laugh and you, uh, you pull him out slowly, right? 
uh, nomming on something. And uh, that's when you see it. His, his eyes that were black at one point, this deep, glowing red color, and you hear a shing, and you wake up. And you all kind of wake up at the same time, even those of you on watch. Uh, Kelwai still staring at uh, Bart as this moment happens, and you see Bart kind of shaking his head a little bit, uh, and he just kind of falls back asleep. And everyone else wide awake hearts pounding some of you after what you just saw strange it was very visceral very real you could feel every bit of it any uh anybody anybody yeah that was unpleasant i'm just pop weren't we awake weren't we just talking yeah we were just practicing but but then I wasn't here. I was like someone else. Yeah. Or a dream, but it, it felt more real than a dream usually does. Yes, yeah, very real, and I was definitely someone else because I was battling with a battle axe, and there was blood everywhere. I was not me for sure. So oh, that, that was, was me. Kind of intense and cool, but oh, that was you. Oh, okay. I was Cornelia for a little bit. Did everyone just have a weird dream? Yeah. Yeah. Very vivid. Yeah. That is sweet. You still asleep? He sat up, and then I was someone else, and now he's asleep again. Oh. Huh. Uh, can I go like poke Mio? Yeah. 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 Poke him. Gotta wake him poke Did we get him. a full uh, rest, a long rest, or were we? And it up seems like, from what you can tell, like very little time has passed at all. Oh, uh Maybe shit. two hours. Uh, Kelwise, okay. you guys were awake, and this moment mm -hmm. seemed to just flash by. You look at the firewood. The firewood doesn't seem any more or less uh, burned away than it was. Maybe a 30 seconds to a minute, maybe? Uh, and you go poke him, and he... Oh, oi, yeah? Um, What's I have up? a question. Yeah. Did you also have a weird dream right now? Weird dream? Yeah. Well, no. No weird dreams. Why? What's up? Because all of us had weird dreams. Even Kelwise and I who were awake. And I saw you sit up, so I thought that maybe you also had one. Oh. No, no weird dreams. Were you this somebody else? Am I somebody else? Were That's you? That's a strange question. Was I? I don't think yeah. so. Did you make us have dreams? Why did you sit up? Did I make you have dreams? I wish I yeah. could. Can you imagine the amount of mischief I could get into if I could do that? Mm. I grab his face. I want to like see like how honest he's being. Okay. Or his like uh, intentions are. Yeah, you stare straight into his face, and uh, you see something there. And we'll find out when we come back from break what that is. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to go on a break, uh, everyone at home. Uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back from our break. Okay, so what do I see? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too excited. Segue. <laughs> yeah. What do okay, I what see? What are we doing? What do do? What do do? By the way, this is, uh, I got this uh, sweater. Uh, Mod made this. Mod made this sweater. Oh, so I, have the, I have so. the navy shirt with that design on it. Nice. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. this is awesome. I love this. Thank, thanks for That's designing this awesome sweater. Mod is best. Mod, mod, mod. Mod. <laughs> you have to write a mod. There it is. Oh, there I think it is. did. Uh, <laughs> Pup, you look straight into Bart's eyes, and you see something for a second, a look of confusion, almost like he doesn't recognize you, just for the slightest second, and then he shakes and you always see his, like, his eyes almost change colors in that second, he shakes his head. Boy, hey pup, what's up? 
Where did you go? What do you mean? Where did I go? You weren't you for a second there. Well, I don't know. Don't feel like me. <laughs> Smell like me. Could probably use a bath or two. You taste like you. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh. I know that's uh, sort of a greeting from where you're from, mm -hmm. where you grew up. So, going to cheese to say thank you. I let go. You weren't you. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll try and be more me from now on. No, that, that's not, mm -mm. you're not getting it. You weren't you. Hmm. Not like you're not acting like yourself. You weren't you. If that, if that yeah. I thought I was the dumb one. Okay. Well, maybe. It could have something to do with the confluence over there. Who knows how it works, what it does. It is a little bit Has fizzy. that happened to you at all? I mean, I went you to the have island. Do you fuzzy memories when you're here? I have had a few moments where I uh, feel like you lose yourself, you know? Feels like I'm walking around in someone else's skin for just a second. That's... I just asked, we just asked if you experienced that and you said no. Well, not like a dream. You said that I dream like I was somebody else. It's just like a passing feeling, you know? Not actually anybody else. But is that, if that's what you're saying, that's what you felt. A little bit of a out-of-body experience. Well, then you all felt that too. So, From like, it's like an out-of-body, but in another body experience. Yeah, see, that, that's the other thing. I, I don't feel like I'm in anyone else's body. Just out of my own. I think this is where we get to the disconnect here. All right, so, uh, I mean, I have to ask. That that sounds pretty strange. When did that start? Was that from the island, or does it always happen to you, or? Well, you know, ever since I walked through that confluence, it's a bit hazy. Don't really remember. I do remember coming to the island. I was here, probably doing something, and then it's, uh, you know, all a bit fuzzy. And I woke up here, spent a couple years researching, you know, getting traced out by the trogies. Haven't really been able to uh, go back to the confluence, figure out what it does. The person I saw, the gnome, can I recall anything like their name or their whole history? <laughs> Or is it just yeah, that no. moment? Or unfortunately, yeah, you did. You weren't necessarily privy to their thoughts. Only their physical uh, sensations, their hearing, their touch, the smell, sight—all of that stuff was 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 very real. But their thoughts were still locked away. It seems. Is Thargan still up researching, or was he sleeping too? Thargan still seems like he's... You look over and you see him in that, that light red glow. He's still there at the dais. Um, just... Still. Very still. He's cross-legged at this point. Uh, hey, Thargan. Hand on. You awake? Uh, and you'd have to go, like, in. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge hall. Unless uh, you were just yelling this out to him. Are you? Yeah, I'll go in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you you walk over and and you look and Dargan kind of looks down at you as you walk in and you see some bags under his eyes. He looks pretty tired. Oh, kill wise. How goes it out there? Yeah. Um. Well, it's going, but something weird just happened. We all kind of had a collective, not collective experience together. We all felt like momentarily we were in other people's bodies and everyone had the same sort of experience I too uh, had a dream such as that riding some kind of two-legged creature through a forest of 
A black marble. It was only for a second. And then I came to. I thought it was just my mind playing tricks on me. Well, Very nothing. concerning. That was different than mine. Mine, I was feeding a little creature, and then I think it ate some core. Then it stabbed me. Yeah. So, do we not all have the same? Did you guys all have the same dream as me? Did we all have different dreams? Uh, I think I was windsurfing on some sand. Hmm. Yeah, we all had different dreams then. Oh, it's tree hopping. (gasps) Oh, that's the funnest thing to do. Well, until I fell almost. That happens. <laughs> I was going to say earlier, it's only a loose theory, but maybe maybe going through this, you know, because the confluence sounds like a super powerful uh, gateway, a portal. It, maybe it, it messed with your, your your person a little bit and made you able to shift to other personalities or other people, possibly. I don't know. It's just, it just seems strange. And, and I don't I don't know if it's the island or just you that made us all have that weird dream situation but this is an interesting development for sure yes concerning very it turns out at least one guy didn't have the same experience but only one guy who didn't Fitz? yeah yeah no wait Clark. Fitz, did you dream i mean we didn't ask Fitz. me did i dream yeah. Yeah. No. Why would I dream? What do I have to dream Where were about? You? My life is so glamorous as it is, sitting here in this rock with the middle of nowhere. Good friend. Hey, Fitz. Yes? What did you see? Where were you? Who were you? What did I see? Yeah. What do you mean? My dreams? No, my mind is my own. I think you are quite mistaken. Smack him upside the head. <laughs> Ow! Pup! I am not one of your um, pack mates. That hurt. Yeah, you are. Shut up. <laughs> so, you didn't have a weird dream either. No, he did. He's just being a weird stupid. dream. No, of course not. And you did you have clearly, a like, dream that made you seem real heroic and stuff? You mean my life? <laughs> of course. Of course, I lived I that reality myself. right now. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Ow. Trust! You haven't done that in a while. Didn't see it coming. But next time, I'll be watching for it. Stop uh, thinking! It's, this it's is very... important, even if it's embarrassing. Did you have an out-of-body experience? Fine, yes. I saw something uh, rather strange. Go on. I was around creatures, not very tall, and there was a crackling source of energy swirling around, and we were all heading towards it, and when I looked into the sky, it's like the heavens themselves cracked, shattered, sundered apart. And as that happened, I walked into this glowing crackle of energy and woke up. See, see my brain road? playing tricks on me. Ridiculous. Hmm. You went toward a crackle of energy. I went toward a bright light. The creatures I was um, eating bread to, their eyes turned red. Turned red? Yeah. Hmm, that's scary. What uh, color I were they before? I just had a wave of sand black. cash out for me. They were black? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm sure it was no real threat. Well, no, but what if it, it like means something for like, like what if it's like something important though? What important could it be? What if it's not a real threat now, but it could be a real threat later? I don't understand this small creature you think is a threat. Um. Well, it core and then it's eyes turned red and then it stabbed me. It stabbed you. I think I don't know. I heard like a chink, and then I woke up. Mm. Regardless, we're like all seeing things. 
I think Pup's worried that maybe this is a vision of our future, but I don't think it was just because I was very, like, I was attacking someone with, like, a super large axe, and I was covered in blood and, like, killing lots of stuff. Like, I just don't, yeah, yeah. I don't think that's me. I hope it's not you at all. Wait, Pup, uh, Cornelia, you said it was like a thing in the pit. There's no way, right? That thing was Yeah, is terrible. that what it sounded like? When that little the creature... things that I saw? No. No. It was like those um Azerlingy thingies. From those little creatures from my forest. Kind of it. Oh, okay. There's like little Good. creatures. Good. Because that think. thing was terrifying. But what about the noise? I agree. We should not go back, right? Well I don't know. Never say never. That's what I never say. <laughs> Rezik, you were covered in blood? That's very unlike you. Yes, yes. Um, and and I, I was going to say, I, I just think that Kelweiss's point is very apt, that he was saying that all of us experience this except for, for bots. And that's kind of why I was saying that maybe he's some sort of hub for this energy. Like, he went through the confluence and now he's able to allow us all to see into other realities, possibly, or other people. I don't know. I'm uh, still you've seen Bot. Yeah, I think you give him way too much credit. Do we know how much longer we've got to stay in here? I don't know. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, who was talking with uh, Thor? Thor why can't I, I remember? Thargan. And Thargan he, last. He kind of was like, I don't know when I'm going to figure it out. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. Do we know what he's trying to figure out? Yeah, he's trying to connect with the, the tree and see, mm -hmm. like, you know. Mm hmm figure out what's wrong with it yeah well i mean you know i'm not sure what that was uh we'll have to just kind of keep an eye out and maybe yeah like trust is i think trust is kind of alluding to get off of this island as soon as possible i think would be the best case scenario so my best case scenario right now is getting a full night's sleep i'm going back to bed <laughs> that as well yes definitely be fine by me Fitz kind of goes back to sleep. Um, are you guys uh, all just heading head to bed? I'll keep watch. Yeah, I'm already asleep. Yeah. Well, Cornelia, you and Kelwise had kind of stayed up uh, already. Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, I was sleeping. Oh, yeah. that's right. That's right. Pop and Kelwise. My bad. So, Cornelia, you're going to keep watch? Okay. I, uh, I will, I'll stay up with uh, Cornelia for this watch. Okay. The two of you guys uh, stay up. Um, Good luck. Watch that guy. Yeah. Yeah, and... Weird one. Um, for the most part, nothing, especially nothing like what happened earlier occurs. The night kind of just flickers on and you start to see uh, the, the sun, early signs of the sun start to come up uh, on the horizon as uh, Thargan kind of walks up to you. Um, oh, I was going to say, uh, uh, well, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, no, what's up? <laughs> What, do you want to do? Something? Uh, I was gonna say, like during, during the watch, I wanted to like just creep over to to, to Bart uh, while he's sleeping and just kind of like gently wake him up. Okay. Yeah. So you wake him up. Uh, it's pretty easy. Um. <clears throat> uh, hi. Sorry. Sorry. Are you okay? Yes. What's um, up? Um. Listen. Uh. Again, I'm I'm sorry for getting off, off on the wrong foot. Everyone. Everyone seems to think what you're telling us may be possible, and I maybe I've been too hot on you. I wanted to say sorry. No worries. No worries at all. You know, uh, when it comes to Eva, we can all be a little overprotective, yeah? And I hope, uh, yeah. I hope no matter what, you never lose that instinct. I hope not as well, but um, I, I, because of that instinct, I do have to ask you, um, and you probably won't tell me, but I have to ask this. Um, where you come from, did Eva not die? Was she always alive? Some things happen how they're supposed to happen, and unfortunately, uh, I can't tell you much. But I can say, you're doing a very good job with uh, the, th the things you've been given. Yeah? 
It's not easy. You've got a whole path in front of you, for the both of you. And it's only going to get a lot harder as you go on. But uh, keep that connection you guys got. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if you meet me, go easy on me. Can be uh, a bit of a pain in the butt. But it's all worth it. Um, again, you seem nice enough, but if you're going to date my sister, you're going to have a bit of a hard time, mate. I'm sorry. Um, oh, but, don't worry. Uh, I'll try. Don't worry. I'll try. Yeah, I'm used to having a hard time with you. You and I have gone around the horn quite a few times. Sounds but about look, right. We wouldn't have it any other way. So don't change a thing, alright? I'll try not to. Um, alright, well, uh, yep, sorry, sorry. And, uh, night. And I'll just go back over to Cornelia and just sit next to them and, and watch over everybody. Alright. Yeah. Then uh, you guys notice he's, he he seems to take into uh, go into a, a certain set of uh, almost a contemplative state. Uh, Bart kind of looking at the stars above you and the trees all around him, taking him in. Um, and uh, as the day uh, kind of comes in uh, through the trees, the early, early, early morning light, you hear Thargan's uh, very heavy armor kind of softly lower down next to you, Rezik, as uh, he leans up against uh, some of the steps. Well, I think I found all that I need to know. Great. Is like the, the tree, tree is, okay? The tree is fine. Tried to commune with it. Maybe meet my ancestors as such. It seems the answers I seek are not in the tree itself, though it seems healthy. This was all not for naught. Uh, this was not all for naught, I should say. I learned a lot about myself. And I think the history of my people. But unfortunately, uh, the answers to freeing my ancestors from this oath seem to have eluded me. Okay. Um, do, are you still going to pursue that, that goal? Uh, to try to free your ancestors from... Well, I'll continue to do some reading back in Argarod. And maybe something will turn up. I do know a lot more now than I did before, so maybe I overlooked something. Our library is vast, so... That's well, you know, step. um... Again, I mean, you should feel very proud of yourself for going all this way and taking that journey just to be able to... come to that conclusion. I mean, that's pretty... freaking brave of you to do, um, for your family, so... Good, good yes. on you. Well, I want to take a short nap here. Just a little bit of a breather. Yeah. And <clears throat> be good and on our way. And uh, he cool. takes a, uh, uh, a water skin of sorts, uh, pours out a little bit of this water, dumping it onto the ground. Uh, for the homies. For my, for the homies. For my ancestors. And it's pretty, it's pretty empty. It's just a little bit of uh, a few drops. He empties it out and then just throws the skin onto the fire. Uh, almost as a, uh, I mean, you've never seen anything like this, but it might be a part of the rituals. And he kind of lays down and goes to bed. And maybe then, uh, 30, 40 minutes later, the sun really lighting up the sky and the tree line and such. And you guys all kind of wake up. Um, from your rest. Yeah, and I'll, I'll just put a put an arm around Cornelia and just be like, I guess it all worked out. I mean... It's not over yet. We made it through the night. Through. Yeah, what happened? Just oh, off to the side. Uh, did some answers? Alright! Hey! How you um, all doing? 
feel much All better right, after that rest. On. Where are we headed, eh? You want to go kill no, those drogies, huh? Free their confluence. Give me, give me a hand. You're right. All right. Let's do it. Teamwork my stupid makes armor. the dream work, eh? Huh? Please stop talking. Your armor. <laughs> I'm gonna be and unlinking so it with doesn't. my mage hand. Yeah, and Cornelia, you notice, uh, <laughs> you, you you had stayed up all night, and, and most of your uh, <laughs> you're unlinking everything that he's doing. <laughs> All right, yeah, uh, Dresden, it takes a uh, man. A, it, it, doing it takes, right now? Usually it's about 10 minutes to put this armor on, and it's close to 15, and you're like halfway done, and you're like, what is happening I can, back there? I think I can do this faster myself, dude. Stop. Stop. And uh, Cornelia, you and Pop both have uh, that uh, that wildling pretty much attached in some way. Mm. Even when they were sleeping, like a hand on your foot, just kind of... <laughs> Aw, that's pretty cute. Keeping that connection. I hope they can fight, man. Yeah, well, we I'll keep it. Can't. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Dresden, as, as you're you're working uh, on that armor, you notice uh, one of the uh, board shorts just, just staring up at you and your armor. Just slack jawed. <laughs> Morning. RTT <laughs> Kaga! Um. Why? I. Why? Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? I don't know, dude. What do you mean? <laughs> don't smile like that. It's too early to smile at a, a purpose. And he kind of just like that. walks away slowly. Oh my God! What's just happened? I don't know. <laughs> what did and you maybe, say to these and people? you continue to put on this armor, and maybe. 30 seconds later, you hear, Why did you caca? And you hear something coming flying towards you, and Koo -koo, something just grabs onto your shoulders, like right sitting on your shoulders, and then grabs your head again. And it's just oh, you, laughing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess this is my life now. And it like <laughs> points off. Directions. It points like over the edge. What? Where? Where's ah. it pointing at? What are you pointing at? He starts Why pointing over the edge. And just pushing oh, like, your head like... No, we're not going over the edge. Not only <laughs> would I fall, but I just strapped a bunch of metal to my body. What the hell's the matter with you? What did you do? Yeah, yeah, no, I get you. But please, that's right where my ear is. So, let's... That's very loud. And I haven't had any food or coffee yet. It just kind of... What? Sits impatiently, I'm... like pushing your head every, like very softly. It doesn't have much strength, but it's I'm like walk just over to the edge, to... carefully, knowing these guys they could come out of the trees and just bombard me. And he like takes your chin and like wraps his arms underneath it, like he's really strapped on, ready to go. <laughs> Eyes wide, he's no, looking down not... this cavern. I'm not jumping off of this. I don't care. Why did you? No. No, please stop pumping my head. <laughs> Just pushing your head. That doesn't feel good. No. Later? Ask them. They weigh less. Who are you pointing at? Everyone. I Just a broad sweep of the arm. Everyone but me. Okay, yeah. Except you Thargan, broad he sweep, weighs and more you, now. You, you kind of land on uh, your hand just ever so slightly. Uh lands on Rezik, and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. look at that. You hear a, you hear a, Him. and it jumps off of your shoulders, and it kind of floats towards Rezik. Rezik, you see this thing just floating oh. towards you, arms wide, like, ha, and it grabs onto you, oh. scurries up Good onto luck. your back, onto your shoulders, again, mm -hmm. locks its fingers underneath your chin, and then starts pushing you towards the edge. You chose Oi. the wrong ride, Oi. pal. I'm very weak. I'm, okay, here, I'm going to make you. a reason of... Over here! I try and get his attention. Hey, come Looks. over here! Come on! Oh, look! A Pops pretty down. lady! Look at Walks that! Walks over to you. Eyes you cautiously. Yeah. It climbs up, and for you, it stands on your shoulders. <laughs> and it, like, points to its feet. I hold it, I grab onto its feet. 
Okay, yeah, you're holding it like this. And yeah. it starts pushing you like, let's go, I let's jump go. off. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you oh my jump. God. And he grabs <laughs> his cape. Dude. And you holding on, all of a sudden, just whoo, up over that chasm. You leap, and you start flying through the air. And he's steering you around, <laughs> screaming in the air, as you just hold on to his legs for dear life. And it's not that hard. You feel a lightness to your body and his. Um, you still are having to hold on and hold yourself up to a degree, but you kind of like glide around, uh, <laughs> not really in control at all. He really guiding you back and forth, and you land on the uh, that middle plateau uh, where the crystal was, and he's like pushing you to like run and jump over the other side to the other side. Okay, do it. Okay, yeah, and what to do? You guys see Trust bound up. Again, another 20-foot leap as no. Trust just goes floating around <laughs> and then poof, poof, lands on the other side of the temple. Should we, should we be concerned? This and is, he hops uh, off and jumps up and does the, that waltz-type dance and then starts yelling at the other ones. And the other ones on the other side start getting really excited. I mean, like, we have to eat first, and also I'm not doing that, so... <laughs> Am I by the other glowing stone? Where am I? No, you kind of went, uh, let me see here. You went back, uh, so, uh, oops. You went, uh, uh you were here, right? On um, This is the temple. You had mm -hmm. jumped this gap, landed mm -hmm. here on this, ran, mm -hmm. and then jumped again and cleared this huge chasm in one fell oh, swoop, so just... landing on the other side <gasps> over here. Oh, so I'm where we need want to be. Yeah, and weekend. everyone else is here-ish. Near the Ooh. campfire. I'm just um, dancing around with the little thing. That was okay. Yeah, fantastic. And it's dancing around with you. I had a great hold your hands. <laughs> we just dancing. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I cast my dancing lights to like dance around us. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Audibly. Ah. <laughs> And this thing yeah. is just boogieing down. And it they dance with like a reckless abandon. If you've ever seen a, a small child dance to music, it's just so pure. There's no <laughs> outside influence trying to bring you down. Uh, not self-conscious at all. This thing is just... Oh my God. Wow. Le leaving it on the floor. Uh, so the rest of you guys, what are you guys doing? You guys just going to... Oh, Make some coffee uh, and yes. so yeah, I made I made some some uh, coffee here and got some, <laughs> some food. Um, uh, Thog and sleeping. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you. Um, Thog and sleeping. Badly burned. And uh, with you all that, you Thargan's like awake. He just took like a little power nap. Uh, oh, okay. With all the noise and such, Thargan. <sighs> Can sorry I bring my new partner in? try to get to trust yeah now the thing is you'd have to put uh you know you'd have to jump on to either stand on uh its shoulders because you have the cape yeah i'll uh put my legs around it okay yeah you climb up on its shoulders and it's like it's like because it's so much smaller than you, it's like it to... around, and and, it, and he, he he tells you to hold the cape. All right. And so you hold the cape back, and uh, this looks like a terrible idea. He like goes all the way back, and then he goes all the way forward and just <laughs> jumps off, and you feel you feel the wind, um, and it catches underneath your cape, and you feel someone pushing the wind into almost your sails essentially and as you can you move left and right you can kind of steer yourself just a little bit um as you float up but you feel something uh, very similar to when you had pushed the wind into uh the cape with your mage hand but it's so much more refined it's mm. pure and it's perfect as this being kind of billows up wind and same you make this big leap and everyone you see uh, Cornelia, fly, kind of land over here. It keeps running with its uh, 
uh, with tiny little legs, goes like just running a He's million there. miles an hour and almost trips, but then <gasps> you leap off into the air and you land wow. way over on the other side. You need to try this. All right, cool. Is that where we're all supposed to be going, right? I guess. Uh, I Depends kick out the ashes and put on my backpack and start walking. Where are we going? <laughs> Doesn't seem like uh, we want to see what this confluence is about. Wait, wait, wait. In that way? It's to the west, as according to Bart here. What's Before up, Kellyweiss? Should we check on those other trees? You just, you know, pop them open, maybe see if they were, you know, alive. Maybe grab some extra bark if and, there was some lying around, you and, know, just... And when you look back, you see that all the chests are closed now. Um, and, uh, uh, Thargan, Thargan says, well, I looked inside and it does seem like there's one tree for each house. If you wanted to take extra bark, it was there. As long as you just sure, I'll, I'll go... Itself. Yeah, I'll go add some more to uh, the collection. So I'll get another jar and I'll just put some excess bark yeah, in you there. Fill, and... You fill the jar up pretty tight. And the bark Otherwise, itself is hold, like a can very... Can you hold the other, the other jar just in case? <laughs> Ooh. Me? Yes. Go. Yeah, and you fill up a, another jar of this bark substance. And the bark itself is, is almost sharp. It's hard and uh, almost like a, a petrified wood. It's been... Uh, changed over time yeah doesn't hurt to have some extra yeah. just in case who knows how much the mages wanted if he didn't specify could be a of bunch course. of bark yes and i'm sure he'd be like you know oh sense. wasn't enough too bad go back you know he'd, he'd probably yeah. be like that so that's a good idea good thinking killways um th by the way thoggin I, I i you know i'm not sure do you want to go to the confluence? This wasn't part of our deal, so I feel bad making you go to some extremely no, crazy, you've, powerful portal, but... You've all helped me beyond anything I could have ever asked for. I am forever in your debt. And if this confluence is covered in... Troggies, well... I see it as my duty to help you in any way I can. <laughs> Should oh, you need um, it, do we... want it. Are we doing that? Is that the deal? What's the what's the plan, everyone? Well, yeah, I would like to go see the confluence again if I could. Figure some stuff out. You know, I've been stuck here quite a while. Eh, yeah, wouldn't mind. Eh, eh, help an old friend out. You're not that old. You're only like thirty. Well, a little older than I was. Aren't we all? Um, really? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I would hate to come all the way here and not at least see what the confluence is, right? Do we should at least find out? I mean, maybe see a troggy with our own eyes? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, well, maybe... you know, no, no, go right. Ah. Uh, now, there is quite a few of them. Maybe we'll go right? and uh, yeah. I'll show you their, their little uh, outpost there with the uh, confluence. And maybe we can uh, talk a little bit, but uh, there's an awful lot of them. So, and each uh, doesn't. Maybe think of a uh, think of a way to you know sword track them, send them somewhere else, or we'll just kill them all. I don't know. Don't really know well, what each of you is capable of, as of now. So you know. Well, the same as the same as then, but just a little bit less. So. Well, then you'll be just fine, right? Great. I mean, the academic in me wants to go to the confluence so bad, because uh, this, I mean, if this is real... Well, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, I mean, I'll tell you that. You're not going to find is. something like this anywhere else. It's not... Yeah, that's true. Um, so, I'm down. All right. Well, let's go. Huh? Okay. And, uh... You were all too willing to march straight toward death. And he looks around, and it's like motioning to the uh, wildlings to jump on his shoulders and they just kind of cock their heads and he motions and he just does a really bad job of trying to uh, motion them 
none of them jump on his shoulders. And he's kind of... <laughs> yeah, it's going to walk. Walk back. All right. And it walks down <laughs> south to that uh, rope like, you guys had controlled. I, can I try to help? Because cause I'm, I'm still there. Can I, mm -hmm. like, get my partner? Dude, to, like... Light dee dee! Light dee dee! And, like, be like... Uh, try to communicate that we all need to fly. Sure. Um, are you going to put the cape on? Um, or are yeah. you going to put the cape on him? I'm scared I'm going to give it to him. He's not going to give it back. So I'm going to put it on. Okay, yeah. You put the cape on and it's tiny. It's really small, especially for your body. Um, so you're able to grab it and uh, he kind of looks at you for a second. What? Titi Kaka? Kaka Titi. Titi Kaka Kaka. Why? And he kind of whoosh, and this big gust of wind comes from underneath him. Um, hard to tell, and you kind of flutter up just a little bit with this mm -hmm. cape on. And he jumps on your shoulders and he climbs up and does it again and the wind goes whoosh up, but it's almost as if like it doesn't catch underneath the cape. It comes from almost coming from him in this giant gust of upward air. Uh, and then he crawls back off and <laughs> looks at you. What did he caga? No, no, I He points to you and he's just like No, you get on his Let's do this. Let's do this. He just has this determined look in his eyes. <laughs> now look at everyone else. Why TT Kaka? <laughs> like 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 everyone like grab someone, let's go. Do they do right it? Right behind you. I'm a right behind you. Yep. I'm walking with Dresden. And, and anyone who's yeah, yeah anyone, <laughs> there's there's a few of you, uh, including Thargan, uh, who's like no. Absolutely not. Yeah, Thargan, to, like, Thargan by choice, like... really. Uh, Thargan has the choice, really. Uh, the <laughs> Galois. I mean, you guys have choice, but but like, he could, yeah. He Anyways. could fly. Yeah. Um, pup, you kind of haphazardly like crawl up onto his shoulders, right? I, I can. I can. I'm, I'm going to turn myself into Cornelia. Make myself small. Okay. Yeah. You get smaller, which much much better uh, but you can like really shrink like uh like 12 inches right a foot i think so so you're like four feet tall which is mm -hmm. much much better um but you're still pretty large uh comparatively so you get on his shoulders and he just kind of falls to his hands and knees and you're like on his back like right he? and he's just like what did he caca what did he caca <laughs> And then just like, you see this gust of wind, uh, and you hold this tiny little cape and it kind of, and he kind of hops more than like walks as you kind of just, uh, and you uh, get to the edge and uh, let's see how he does. Oh no. You guys, if, if, if this go up, is how Pup does. And you go, uh, Pup, roll up. Roll a dick, uh, acrobatics check as you hold the cape. Acrobatics Good check. luck, Pop. Bobby! <laughs> you got it. It's gonna be good. Ooh, eight! An eight. Oh! He just, oh, with all of his might, a gust of wind sends you over the edge. Acrobatic. And it's not even half as much as you need as you start to <laughs> just descend. And you start to float slowly down. And slowly down as you're moving around, and it's it's super hard. You, you didn't like you haven't really controlled the cape, but it's it's very 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 difficult, and it's very uh, almost tricky because any of the wind moving around you push wants to push you in a direction, and you try and correct yourself, and you find yourself overcorrecting by a lot. And do I see this? Can I help down. with uh, my well, mage hand? You're, you're very far away. You're way more than 30 feet. And Pup, you eventually 
come crashing into a wall uh, just above, and then the two of you just poof, fall the rest of the way. Uh, it's surprisingly light-packed dirt down there. You fall into what luckily is uh, almost a cushion of dirt as the both of you just poof, fall to the ground. I was going to say, I also have yeah. slow fall. Yeah, and, and he's just kind of... <laughs> Monks! Yeah, I also. <laughs> and then he, he kind of gets back, gets ready. Right. Gets like, ready. Let's ready. Like, let's go again. Um, are you going to get his back? I like this guy's attitude. And yeah, you kind of crawl and you guys just kind of leapfrog along the base of this cavern all the way back to the south right. end of the wall. And then uh, he just... kind of put him on my back why did he yeah and just like crawl up <laughs> and you hear yeah you put him on your back and you just hear in your ear <laughs> <laughs> and i just crawl up the wall because i'm sure i have many walls why did he and then like i give him a jar and just <laughs> as i'm crawling i'm climbing <laughs> what a beautiful honeymoon yeah <laughs> no, this is jam. They didn't like the honey. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> is he what? What's happening? And when you guys get to the top, he he looks at you, kind of steps off, has like a, a look in his eye, looks up at you, pup, and just. <sighs> He quit. And just starts slowly quit, walking know. away. Just oh, is this really all slowly. Said? And falls oh, to his divorced? hands and knees. He divorces and just you? Crawls off. Doesn't ask for the cape back. Just kind of slowly oh. falls. But you keep just, the cape, though. <laughs> and oh maybe God. passes out. Just oh. so tired. It's hard to tell. What's I leave going another jar with him. Things in mind? Yeah, and it's right in front of his face. And in his sleep, you almost see just like a reaching for it, but he's just beyond kind of the ability to think. Pup, I think you won. <sighs> it wouldn't be the first time. Oh, we're talking about the game. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It is new. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah. And you see his little board shorts just kind of flapping in the wind. Maybe too much wind. That's weird. We're just gonna leave nice. Him. <laughs> I gave him another jar. He needs his space. Yeah, yeah and uh, all the rest of the wildlings. Uh, uh, Dresden, you, Kelwise, and the rest. Uh, Fitz and uh, Dargan uh, come crawling around. Bartholomew, uh, who led the way, dejected. Um, uh, Rezik, you're the only one left. Were you? Oh gonna, yeah, no, uh, I, went with, I went with Dresden and them. I didn't. Yeah. Oh, you went with Dresden. All right. Yeah. So all yeah, the rest I, of them just live. easily just leap into the air and fly. Some of them making that entire gap in one bound. Um. It's it's like they're just made of feather and they just fly off and then float down. Um. <clears throat> yeah, they all kind of meet you guys and then they all. Look at you, bug-eyed. Almost like, where are we going next? Oh, Bart? we have a treat for you. Danger. Yeah. <laughs> Lead the way. And Bart kind of... I hope... Are they coming towards me? <laughs> what was that? Are they coming towards my way, or am I just like... Yeah, you guys all meet up. You guys meet yeah, all okay. the same, I walked same over area. you. Yeah, oh, okay. they, they walked over. You and Cornelia had leapt over uh, in yeah. two bounds. Uh, the rest of them uh, kind of just hmm, looking around. Uh, and you guys had start to head west. Uh, and Bartholomew lets you know it's 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 not a super long walk. It's, uh, it's maybe an hour, hour or two uh, to the west. But uh, you guys start marching and... Maybe after a couple of hours, again, up and down, it's much easier now that you're not carrying uh, Thargan on that sled. Uh, Fitz 
seems to yeah. be moving lighter. You guys come around and you start to smell something sour, putrid. It's this uh, very almost bog-like stench. And uh, Bart kind of looks at you guys. Oi, eh, hey, we're getting close. You can tell because of the old sniffer, right? And he kind of sure. shakes his head a little bit. Oh, there, there it is. You guys can tell. We're getting a little close because of the old uh, sniffer. Hey, you ready? You repeat yourself. Do you smell toast? What? No. What kind of toast are you eating? That smells disgusting. All right. Yeah. Who All right. Where? Well, I think it's, just... I think it's just, just, just so you know, Bart, I think it's getting worse because you just repeated yourself and you have no idea that it happened. Go proceed. Sorry. Oh. Well, uh, I guess I'd be more aware of that. Yeah, going forward. All right. Uh, well, everyone just uh, get low. Stay quiet. And he turns to the uh, wildlings. Shh. Shh. And they all turn to one another. Shh. Shh. In turn. And then it's just like a circle of them shushing each other, kind of. It's it's very... It's quiet, but it's just a strange uh, grouping of... People telling each other with, like, a sense of authority to each other, like, shh. And they all kind of hunch down low and start crawling through the forest. Uh, as you guys move around and you see this, what looks like an old uh, fort encampment of some sort. You see these high 10-foot walls um, weathered by many, many years. Uh, again, uh, very similar uh, carving and architecture to that temple that you had seen. Um, kind of just jutting out of this, not necessarily a clearing, that canopy still covering you uh, of trees, but there's uh, that open, there's like an open, almost a, what looks like it might have been a, a temple of sorts, a church, uh, a barn. It's hard, it's really hard to tell, but a uh, multi-roomed uh, building with these tall walls, and you start to see these lightish purple creatures um, walking on uh, two legs, uh, bipedal, but just moving back and forth, very almost snake-like. Uh, as they look back and forth, and you see this encampment, um, <clears throat> this large encampment. Um, this... Um, as you guys sneak kind of south, uh, this is what you guys see. You're here uh, at the edge of this forest, and you guys kind of sneak up to the side over here behind this tree. And looking down, you see this large building, uh, and there's just tons. And there's these almost wreckage made as a sort of a barricade. And you just see a whole swath of these guys just everywhere, just kind of looking out of sorts. Uh, one of them just moving around in the dirt. All of them equipped with what look like these kind of rudimentary spears. You could probably throw them. Uh, they look like they have stone tips on them. So not incredibly strong, but still almost uh, could be used to easily kill somebody. Uh, and that's what you see as you guys kind of sneak up over in this area. Hmm. Right. Well, there's lots of them. Them's, he didn't like hey, I wasn't that. kidding about that. Them's the drogies. And there's probably like a uh, showman in there somewhere. Yeah? Huh? Yeah, the showman. He has uh, all kinds of magic powers, I think. I only saw it once. So be very careful. Yeah? Is there another way around? Or that's a little less... Well, I didn't want to get too close. There might be. It's not a bad idea, go, though. We might want to yeah, check around check the, the area. Mm. Okay. They have pretty good hearing. Very good eyesight, even at night. So, uh, he'll be very quiet. Yeah? Sneaky. Oh, yeah. No, Sneaky I got that time. covered. Yeah. Maybe, uh, you in the, uh, pots and pans over there. Yeah. Just stay put, huh? That works for me. Yeah. Sneaking was never your, uh, your strong suit. Thanks. Well, it wasn't mine either. You know, I just tend to talk to talk to that. Sometimes forget myself. Yeah. 
All right. And I, I could be Dresden wrong here. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not the uh, strategist like Dresden is. Uh, do you think it's better to have just maybe like one or two really sneaky people go, or, or all of us except for Dresden go? Who are you asking? Uh, Dresden, sorry. Because you're the strategist for our, for our group. No, you just, about you just you, you referred to me and then said third person me, and it was very... Okay. Uh, yeah, I apologize. Uh, uh, I'll restate. Some scouts. You are very good at planning. What do you want to do? Send two scouts out or send all of us out except for you? You don't have to flatter me. I'm going to make a decision either way. Um, yeah, no, send scouts out. Like, I mean, yeah, we could send a whole picnic, but why Why risk it? Tight. That was a, I just needed the answer. So, yeah, scouts. How about Cornelia and uh, what, what do you think, Pup? Both really sneaky? Yeah. Okay. I can well. I can also make us all really sneaky. Oh, oh yeah, that's Never true. Never hurts, but even still, probably just send out the two of you. Yeah, maybe just to get the lay of the land first, see if there's any other better entrances or exits to this camp, something where they can't yeah. see us, perhaps, and then we can figure out yeah. how to get in there and all sneaky. Kelwise, you, you you might hear it first, but Kelwise, you hear just a very low hum somewhere coming from down south near this camp but it's a very hard you didn't almost didn't notice it but this just light humming sound that's a new um, sound are you using uh pass without a trace pup yes. uh-oh she's <laughs> two <laughs> that's like that's like four, four. yeah oh, that was number four <laughs> it's always four. Oh wow yeah it's always four. anyway it's just usually four um, <laughs> sorry, I was sneezing. Am I doing pass for that trace yet? Are I we think, all going? I think you Are should you, yep. after that. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want. Oh, you, I'm allergic not... to these options. I'm a Libra. You expect me to be able to do things? <laughs> sorry. Yeah, oh. pass without a trace and then split off. Great. That's good. And then I... Look up. <laughs> Try to time. Okay, roll a stealth check. Sneaky time. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. 17. 17. Big time. Yeah. You, uh, you seem to time it out pretty well, and you bink, pull that, and you basically uh, rewrite fate, uh, making like a everyone's feet just a little bit softer, their movements a little less Shadows audible. just think to everyone. Yeah. Just like literally like like I want like every time I do this, I I imagine like shadows coming out from me and like going like into everyone else's shadow. Everything just like hugs a little tighter. Very cool. Yeah. Very and cool. your shadows everyone in the party, your shadows darken just a little bit. Um I get and you, when you look at your shadow, you almost see just the slightest wave of something in there, uh, in the darkness. Uh, Cor so Cornelia, uh, you and Pup come shadow around. Move. Where, where are you guys? Uh, where are you guys going? What are you doing? Well, there's a cliff to the east, right? This is like a big rock. It's a. It's actually a big brand, uh, uh, tree root. Sorry, this is a tree oh, root of those giant ass, uh, twenty foot in diameter trees. Which way do you want to go, pup? Whichever way probably is the most dangerous because we're the sneakiest. We'll go there, James. You want to go straight <laughs> through the middle, right there? But which, whichever way. Literally seems like March directly. Like whoever, the most dangerous route, while still like not being like putting yourselves in danger, but because we have like the higher stealth role, like you know. But probably yeah. Best. So yeah. you guys like start to sneak around. around. All right. So you guys circle around here and you move up to this the edge of this tree and you see this wall. Uh, the next the step you take route, is going to be uh, in their view. So you you guys both roll a stealth check for me. Cool. And then As everyone you guys has start a plus to 10. sneak. And you start to sneak out uh, around the left side. Ooh. You have a plus 10. 
Well, I have a 37 max natural 20. <laughs> I rolled. Wow. Dang. 37. No, wow. <laughs> Would only need a plus 17 to perception to see you. I rolled a 19. <laughs> Rogues. Not, just... not Bobby Dice. Rogues, Sorry. You rolled a 19? Pup. All right. You, you guys sneak around here. It doesn't seem like anyone... Uh, hears you at all um, you start to sneak around the side and you notice there's a as you come around this corner you notice there's basically a broken down wall um, you both come and sneak around here and peer around and you see two of those guys uh, and these are just those big walls right here uh, separating um, you see these two like kind of arguing they're like yelling at each other and these are a quite a loud race of beings you hear all of them kind of chattering to each other and it's almost, uh, it's in between like a bark and uh, something a little bit more uh, snake-like. Uh, but they, they kind of just bark in this strange cacking language. Uh, back and we forth. Do you see any other. magical portals? You don't see anything from here. Uh, you do hear a humming sound start to come from the <laughs> south end, though. Okay. Shall we sneak on? Should we take out a couple of these guys or just sneak? Probably not. I'm okay, scared that okay. if we try, we won't be able to finish the job. And they'll be loud. All right, let's sneak. And I'm kind of tired. Okay, yeah. And you guys easily <laughs> pass by that. And you continue downward uh, around this wall. Um, you just continued south and all the way around. And you don't really see anything other than this big, big wall. Uh, and it hooks to the right over here. Uh, you sneak all the way down and to the right. Uh, you look around and you see what looks like almost like a pond in this area. And Wait, ignore this. The, uh, the leaf the hummings... that is on me? Is it? What? Can, can the, my, my leash, my leash that they got oh, for me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they can't lose me? Yeah. Does that right. make it so that he can hear me? <gasps> He can hear me with that, huh? That's what James, from what I recall. Just noises, though, not to... Uh, I don't know if you can talk to them. Otherwise, I have messages. I'm pretty sure you can, because I was, Actually. like, running around screaming around the thing, and he just heard me... I mean, yeah, James described it as, like, I can, can basically... Yeah, I can basically oh, hear, oh, that's hear you. Yeah. That's what and, said, and, yeah. and they said it had last, it lasted approximately Two and a, a half month months. or so. Yeah. Two and a so, half Two and a half months. Exactly. So, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and so, so I'm just like whispering into my ring as I'm going, describing all the things that we're seeing. Okay, Ooh. yeah. And uh, Rezik, you would have been uh, opening your awareness for that as uh, wow. was per the spell. Um, and you guys see uh, like a little pond over <laughs> here uh, amongst a broken... Uh, that's a broken so wall, a big broken wall over here, and the humming yeah, so has gotten much up. louder as you've come, you've come Save south. All right, so there's, yeah, <laughs> I'll use it someday. <laughs> All right, shall we? So there's water around this bridge, you said, or around the wall? Yeah, there's like a little lake over right. here. Yeah, can you, can you go back to the? I can't see the lake or anything. It's just like right, over I... here. Oh, oh, that then... that that dare her green is like got it, got it, got it. Can I see yeah. the fountain again? There's that. There's you guys. And the fountain was way over here. Can we right like here. sneak down further? Wait, that, that looked like there was a fountain down in the lake. Uh, well, so you guys continue on over to this lake, right? Perhaps a humming fountain. Yeah, can we go yeah. where the humming and is? The humming is, is much, much, much louder. Uh, you guys continue uh over to this lake and you see that this broken wall is over here and when you peer out you see this huge ball of what looks like pure electricity in this spinning gyroscope right in the middle of this lake spinning crackling with energy humming um and it's this pure pure bluish white light as these rings spin almost independently of each other in this impossibly complex uh, position almost 
disturbing everything in the area, kind of tearing it all apart. And you can kind of assume this thing, whatever it was, has been tearing everything apart. And as you kind of look through around the wall, you see uh, there's a bunch of these uh, troggies uh, praying to this thing. And as oh, you wow. look up, you see a, <laughs> a bridge. Oh, nice. And they're holding what looks like a wildling between them. Uh -huh. And it's squirming oh, around, no. but they're just holding it. And you see above them uh, this huge troggy with a staff made of this this light, light, glinting metal holding it. And the staff itself sparks with almost electric energy. And it's a uh, pup. It's about the same size as your, uh, your quarter staff. Um, and it barks orders as these three slowly come w dragging this uh, oh. wildling uh, over to the edge of the bridge holding it up to this what you assume is the confluence and the, the, the to the wildling's credit it doesn't seem scared it's more just fiercely fighting back and forth though it has just it has no way of uh, just a size difference there's no way it could ever really break free of these things. Uh, what are you guys doing? We um, come to come down here? Hey. Um. It looks like there's like a big blowing hole in the ground. They're about to throw um, one of those little wildling guys in it and should we do something about it? Should we just watch? Do you guys want to come down here? Should we just pop out and try to scare them? This guy has his staff and I really want it. And so I kind of want to ask Cornelia to steal it. Cornelia, you think he's stealing me? Yeah, oh, God. Okay. There's a lot of guys. There's a lot of guys. There's a lot of guys. I'm going to whisper in his ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think okay. they can hear me. There, oh. Uh, There's okay. a lot of guys. Just, okay. okay. They made it all the way down there and they're around and they can see the comp. Fluence, maybe it's a big, a big swirling uh, yeah. hole, a mass. Ask me, ask and... me if, if that's what the confluence is. Oh, no, I don't think you can. I don't think you can hear me, unfortunately. Kate. Oh. oh. I think it's one way. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Am I wrong, James, or is that how it works? It is indeed one way. Okay. 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 You can just hear the direction um... that Pup is speaking from. That was your okay. homing beacon. What do you think yeah, you should do, Cornelia? Group. Tell them it's right, coming, it. and if they go west and south, but there's a lot of guys down here, tell them. So How many, um, I don't know how to count more than five. How many guys are there? There's like, there's, a, there's at least five. Five fives. Tell them there's five fives. five fives? And a big one. And a big one, but the big one has the stuff that I want Cornelia to steal for me. So I'm hearing all of this, all of the back and forth between Cornelia and Pup, which is really <laughs> funny. Um, uh, so yeah, I'll just tell the group, you know, I'll be like, oh God, oh God. Okay, so they're down there and there's the confluence and there's uh, a wildling about to be thrown in by these snake creatures. Should we go you down can't. there and try I'm to- just gonna go. I'm or... just gonna go in. I'm you going in. Oh God, they're gonna go in. Bye forever. Oh. Remember, no, 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 no. I'm just oh, kidding. I'm just no. kidding, Cornelia. I just wanna scare them, see what they'll do. Oh my God, I'm just gonna go in. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I got you. And Rezik, you hear, whenever Pup talks and you open your awareness, you hear everything that Pup says, whether it's into the ring or not. It's like everything that comes through. So you instantly hear everything they're saying. Yeah, I, like, I hear. I'm just. I'm just kidding. By the way, Cornelia, I hear that part. Yeah. Say yeah. like help, <laughs> help, like distressed. Like be like help, oh, save me. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my gosh! Oh, these guys beat me up. Oh. Wait, they're trying to make me feel scared for them still. Okay. Ah, yeah. Okay. Ah, making sound effects my now. Leg. Yeah, never, I like Cornelia. Like, never allowed like, to be Cornelia, again. Cornelia, say, say, say that they took your arm off. They took and my arm. You hear something, a barking sound. <laughs> And you start to hear <laughs> something from above you start to climb up what sounds like the wall right next to you. Multiple mm. footsteps walking in your direction. And you hear us almost like I suction just... cups clicking on the wall. 
What are you guys Can doing? Minor Quick. illusion and uh, do a bush hide to cover us, hiding in a bush where in yeah. a bush. You guys Fortnite, kind of Fortnite. Yeah. hop into a bush, uh, <laughs> and you see four sets of feet all around you, spears out, what? looking around, back and forth, and then you hear, you see one of them just kind of. Can I use my mage hand to like 30 feet away hit another bush? Or sure. do I see any animals? Can I like spook a rabbit? Oh. Yeah. Sure. I mean, there's there's really no rabbits around, but you can whack another bush for sure. All right. Or like a bird. Yeah. I want to make some noise somewhere else. Okay, yeah, so you, you go 30 feet south of you and you, you make, you <laughs> smack a bush and all four of them instantly look over and then start running over to that bush, start stabbing wildly, and then they, like, look around as if something had gotten away. And one of them barks more over the orders and they all just start running south and they just pretty much leave for the time being. Yeah, it's really smart. Uh, they almost got us. For real? I was just pretending before. Uh... All right. <laughs> now that now they're for real in danger, way. should we go down? Oh, I guess they're okay, but they were almost spotted. Should we go down, or what should we do? Let's let's meet no, them, pup. Let's go. They were supposed to come go. back. That's what scouts okay. do. They we're, 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 we're gonna we come back. We're gonna come back. You guys start to hear. Uh, yeah, but the they know that. Yeah, and we're gonna come back. I'm scared. You start to hear the struggling of that wildling as they walk down that plank. Um, and as you're watching, you're looking over, uh, they, they walk straight up as far as they can, both of them holding him in one hand, grab him, one by arm and one leg, they get ready to heave, heave, and then <gasps> shoo, throw this wildling at the confluence. It goes, shoo, hits the confluence, and its body, like a rag doll, just shoo, falls into the oh. water. Like, you think can we still went... see it? In pieces? In the water. No, the the body, uh, perfectly intact, just falls into the water and starts to slowly sink. And that's when you see it. In this pond, thousands of bones in the water <gasps> below the confluence. And you start to hear this rhythmic chanting. And when you look, they're all up and then down, bowing to this thing, chanting this rhythmic way it's like a one-way trip i relay party. that i relay what we see oh my right. and you God. guys uh head back and you guys manage to sneak all the way back uh up to where they are um without being spotted coming the same way that you came um and you share all that information with them hey bart yeah so uh how do you feel about you're then becoming you now. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> corner like to get back to my then, you know. And then we like lived this life once, and... you know. Oh, I know. It I would know, be, uh, but... I mean, you would you like to live your Look, then the again? And then none of that matters. <laughs> Looks like they've done a few thousand experiments as to whether or not it'll work. And it doesn't look like that's how it works. Yes. Also, should we go a little bit to a safer distance and maybe just camp out and plan, or do you want to? I mean, yeah, we should probably walk a few more feet away either way. Mm. But yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And you guys back up. Hey, yeah. good job, you guys. guys back. By the way, thank you. Thank you for yeah, coming. Great back. job. Well, we weren't and sure, but I heard in the future. <laughs> but yeah. We got like beat up. It was so crazy. You guys wouldn't believe how brave and strong we were. Cornelia totally killed it. She's like oh, really Roy. cool. Good job, Cornelia. Where'd you guys go? Yeah. We like beat up a bunch of guys. Tell them. You beat up a yeah. bunch of guys. Yeah, they're laying over in a pile somewhere <laughs> under stuff. We hid mm -hmm. their bodies. I will Ooh, write no. great stories of your bravery. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard all of it. I heard all of it. It's true. Yeah, they're very brave. Good job. He told us the play-by-play -play was amazing. Oh yeah, wow, well, that's good. 
<laughs> um, Jake, <laughs> though. Are we, are we like, a safe distance now? Yeah, you're much... Yeah, y you go a few hundred feet away. Okay. Maybe even more. All right. Um, yeah. No, seriously, though. That doesn't look like that thing works two ways. No. What do you mean? Have you seen... Uh, have you like seen anyone go back through? Is there a safe way to go into it? Because there were a lot of skeletons. Well, I came out of it. Yeah. <gasps> Did you what add something if... on you that helped you go through it? I have an idea. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. What? What's your what idea, is pup? Okay. So, like, I for me, I only have one place that things go out of and then one place that things go into. So what if there's a second hole somewhere that things go into and it just only goes out here? You know, I think that mm. second like hole a, was like a mouth there. somewhere, and this is the butt. Yeah, yeah I think that's the mouth the butt is in the future, mouth. though. Oh, but is there a now mouth? I don't think. Because so. that's the now butt. And that, if you go I in mean, there, it's really stinky, and you just kind of turn into bones. Well, pup, here's the thing: how many mouths and how many butts do you have? And I just like turn into him. I turn into Dresden. Well, now I have your mouth and butt. So, uh, actually, quite a few. Yeah. So, we each have a pair, but there's only one real one. And, you know, that'd be my guess. Have we heard of anything else anywhere else? Nah, Any mouths? This is the only, this is the only uh, confluence I'm aware of on this island. I've done a pretty yeah, but... thorough check, but, you know, there's a lot that I probably missed. I what do they have mean... a sinful look? Sorry. Confluence backwards. Uh, well, the only thing that makes... Genius. That pricks my ears. Maybe you guys that wiggle your fingers can tell me more about this, but... There's a shaft, right? That the, that shaman thing, the big one had? Staff? And there was like I energy coming out of it or something? I want it. Do you think that has anything to do with the orientation of the confluence you know what i mean possibly i mean it's possible it could be if they've been kind of you know dealing with it like some kind of a religious figure and studying it a lot maybe they found out a way to reverse or whatever the polarity or i don't know the energy uh and make it go a different way i don't know maybe yeah. possible yeah bart you said you just came out and the Troggies were there, or they weren't there when you came out? Well, no, like, no, they... no. I, I came out. I was studying things for oh, a day or so. Just getting my stuff ready. And then uh, one of them Troggies stuck its head through. Uh, just kind of popping up all over the place. And I ran for my life. Oh, so in, in came... that day... Oh, no. Go ahead. Oh, they came after you through the confluence? Yeah, they came after me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you had a day and a half. Did you throw anything into it? Well, yeah, you know, it's strange. I was feeling uh, very tired. I didn't throw much into it. Uh, no, but uh, I was nothing. feeling very tired and uh, figured I had time to study it at my leisure. It was wrong, uh, as you know. But uh, yeah. I didn't get very many uh, observations of it. But that staff, I don't think it was there. Yeah, that was my next question. Okay. So... What do you... No. Do you have something on you? That Me. could have helped you? Yeah. Like, you have your glasses. Something. Do you have something uh, else that is... No. Special? Not really. Or... got this uh, backpack. got my books. I got this uh, fire stock. And this rapier. It's about all. At least that I came in with. But... I mean, I think I think Dresden's completely on the right path here because if this thing is super, super powerful, right, and it's kind of chaotic and just brings in random people from random places, it might be hard to control that. So you might need to f either research a way to control it or find a way to control it on the island. Uh, I mean, you haven't seen anything at all, bots, that would maybe be some way to, to do that over the three years. Yeah, sorry, Dresden. I just I haven't seen much. Oh, do you fine. hear? Um, do you hear the humming? Has the humming changed at all? 
like from the first time you arrived? It was it nah. different the first? Nah, day? the the, the humans been about the same as far as I know. Although you know, trust with your big ears, you probably hear more than I do. Okay. Oi, do we even need to be going this way? Why can't hmm. we don't? I was asleep. A here. We're we don't. Yeah. Back. Oh, we're just trying to help him. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's a foreign. Well, I mean, if it's concept, it? you know, um, I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I'll survive. Yeah, no I've question. Been here. We've fallen away eh, after this island. Are there troggies uh, near you? And back in your then? Or no, well, I ain't never seen a troggy. Not even with any of you. Right. Although, uh, you know. Have you seen any of the other things that you've seen come out? In no, your time? Nothing like that. Nothing like that. Right, so that, that Although, Resic, you and I have seen a lot of stuff. Oh, so more mouths than just the one. Yeah, many mouths yeah. and one butt. Mouths and a butt. Interesting. All right. I never so thought of it that way. Only, there was an in and an out. Only, only real option is to either, you know, if you want to risk it, which I don't recommend you do, you can try to, like, we'll protect you. You can jump through and we'll, like, you know, get out of there. Or our only other option is to try to, like, take out all the troggies, which might be impossible, and really research this thing and study it for a while and make it so it's not well, going to kill Well, we'll say this. Uh... They're a very uh, interesting bunch. They seem to uh, really subscribe to that uh, higher tiered kind of uh, militaristic order kind of thing. <gasps> so Let's maybe, pretend uh, one of us is a god! <gasps> we could do that. Uh, that yeah. could work. That could work as well. But on a show. Well, I was going to say, if we could take out that shaman, probably uh, knock to their morale. Uh, oh, are we about a road to El Dorado? This? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean they're not, sounds they're easier they're, than killing them all. They're not smart. Oh, they probably could. Hmm. We could also lure lure them out. Lure them out. Can we not reason huh. with them? Can we not like talk to them? Well, yeah, if you speak uh, their exactly tongue, maybe. Sure, they have uh, culture. They seem pretty <laughs> cultured, you know? Cultured. <laughs> um, do we know where the shaman sleeps? Culture. You hmm. saw a tent? I'm assuming we maybe saw, in there. We saw one tent, one hut. Right. They one might tent, all sleep hut. on the ground. Do we notice any, like, sleeping on the ground? You saw or? tents there, and well, those two were arguing. You saw a couple, like, uh, makeshift beds made of, like, Straw-ish. Wow. Okay. Well, so we have a few options, right? I think for us, a key got the right idea, though. We study him over the next day or two. Uh, get an idea of their patterns, what they do, if they leave, they sleep. Um, I think our best bet, as it stands, probably maybe get that staff. Or, like you guys said, get the uh, shaman and imitate him as well. Um, otherwise, I don't see anyone getting through that, uh, portal, even if we bum rush it, you know, well, at least not getting through alive. Well, so either the, uh, chef, and you the need staff someone to can pull. control it. Well, if you need uh, someone to pull, pull them away, I, I would be happy to be the bait as it were. Should you yeah, need? Yeah, uh, I think that'll be part of it. I think what we'll have to probably do is maybe... Do we know if the uh, shaman goes with them when they go on uh, attacking party things? Um, well, well, when they came to chase us, he didn't go with them. Okay. There, but there's only like four of them. Right. Like a small party. And we that beat them up. like 40. Yeah. So we took care of those ones already. You're welcome. Good job. Um, <laughs> alright. I say we, uh, we wait till nighttime, and then, uh, do another scouting mission and see, see what they're up to. What do you think? Smart. Look sure. at him in the morning, we'll check at night too, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm always so on guys, the side uh, of observing and learning first, and then attack. You guys hunker down, uh, waiting for nightfall, and you, you sneak back closely uh and you start to observe them overnight and you see pretty steady 
patrols of anywhere from six to ten of these guys coming in and leaving. Uh, a lot of them, it looks like they're just doing food runs, lots of small animals, and even some uh, turnips and tots, uh, sniffing out uh, all kinds of different things and some roots that you've never seen before that could be edible, you just don't know. Um, they vary, and you do, you, you get glimpses of that shaman walking around barking orders, and then he walks to the southwest end and does seem to sleep in this big red tent uh, to the southwest, uh, out of sight. Like even further south from where we were? Or we no, 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 no. Uh, somewhere oh, within, oh. within the tent. Yeah, within those inside walls. Inside the walls? Yeah. All right. And for the most part, uh, they stay pretty vigilant. They do rotate watches, and they seem to bicker a lot. Uh, the, these, this race just seems to bicker and spit at each other. Uh, insults, you assume. Um, like humans. Um, but they do seem to keep a pretty vigilant watch yeah, in their rotation. Uh, Guys, practice how... their language, too. Case. How tall was uh, was the shaman? The shaman's Guys. maybe six and a half to seven feet tall. Jeez. Wow, I'll pretty tell tall. Five, five feet. She's five. Take, I'll feet. take that as a five. <laughs> yeah, and you can grow a foot. Okay, I'll call that six. Mhm. Mm yes. Hi. Yes. Um. All right, that leaves us about a foot short. That doesn't really help. You got tall boots? What if? Yeah, I was about to say, what if I put stuff on my feet? <laughs> I mean, do you really want to go into battle on stilts? <laughs> what if we don't do... That there doesn't have to be battle. What if I go in and my... Sh my uh, how I can turn into a bunch of people? What if, like, that is why I'm a god and maybe I could turn into them? Too. A god? Oh, yeah, we pretend she's got, or there's a god. Like, do we know who their god is? And they're shape-shiftings. They'll be like, ooh. Mm. And then I'm, I'm going to try to what, turn into the shaman. What's going to make yeah, them think they're a god? Yeah, and you've seen this little bit of the shaman. You Because they're changing into different things. I mean, you you, you transform that? your body to be similar to the, the shaman. Uh, you're not wearing the shaman's, you know, clothes mm -hmm. and such, but you look pretty similar to the shaman. Uh, and turn back into pup. I was just making sure I can make myself look like them. Okay. Well, that's that's one thing. Um, I, I mean, yeah, if we could turn into a god, that'd be amazing, but I don't think we know what their god looks like, right? Mm -hmm. But maybe having powers in general makes me a god, especially if they're here with this and a bunch of different people are popping out all the time. Me turning into different people be like, oh, I'm the same thing because I'm different people popping out from there, but I'm one you want to bet your life individual. on that assumption? I've bet my life on a lot less. Um, <laughs> I, think you're, I think you're probably right. <laughs> and I'm going to say you probably shouldn't. I don't know. I mean, you could be right. You could be right, but I mean, a bunch of weird shits come out of there. I think they're probably used yeah. to seeing weird shit. I wonder if they're you know? waiting for the right thing to pop out if it just hasn't yet, so... What would they do? So, are they trying to get back? Is that what they're doing? What if we make something pop out using Rizik's magic, and it pops out, and then it lands on the ground, and then like a big smoke cloud appears, and then I come out of it? Once Could again, be a good idea, actually. That's pretty good. Not much room to retreat. Or what if we all just kill them in their sleep? Well, I'm inclined to go. Or what if we set normally. that red tent on fire? What if we just sneak was... into the red tent and then kill the guy and then impersonate him and then go from there? Whatever. I can but one we can of steal us. his clothes. I can look like him. Yeah. Yes. The only downside is we can't speak like them. So they might get, they might realize that immediately, you know, and they're kind of like, hey, hi. And he's like not responding, you know? Well, I think the first order of business is maybe take a look at that staff. I don't know. I mean, if he came here with it, because Bart said that he, uh, it wasn't here when he got here. Did you see them come through? 
Well, I was uh, sleeping when I heard them barking, and they came through. Looked out, they, they were making, all around. So I, I they jumped out. noise so when things come I through. See it? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Where did you land when you came through? Kind of uh, came through. Woke up, uh, ish. It's like uh, falling asleep, waking up, and I was just uh, you know I saw the confluence, maybe ten, twenty feet away. Did that pier exist? Yeah. Looks pretty much the same. Maybe in better repair when I was there. Hard okay. to remember, though. They fell back. I, I honestly think that's that's probably the best approach, though, Dresden, is to steal that uh, staff. Because it could, if we examine it for a while, it could be the key to everything. Right there, you know? Mm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, why I'm not? Just, why not do both? Huh? Send Cornelia in, steal the staff. Well, uh, Pop does their thing. Well, it could be a two-step procedural: we'll steal the staff first, and then we'll do the whole like weird. Oh, pop out of the the bench, the whatever it's called, the confluence, and then smoke, and then oh my gosh, it's a new god who can transform into anything. You know, that sounds that sounds pretty good, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Cal, yeah. what are you saying? Yeah. Sorry. And push the shaman in. Um, well, uh, two things. One, one thing we haven't considered is um, trying to befriend these people. Um, we've well, that's the whole of, god thing. Well, yeah, to <laughs> a certain extent. But what if we could do it a more roundabout way? So, for instance, wildlings like the jars of, you know, berry stuff, uh, jam. So what if these guys like them, berry jam? Feed them a bunch of wildlings. Well, or that. Um, <laughs> <and> jam. <laughs> But the jam, um, so, so hear me out, hear me out. Here's my thought. We leave one jar of jam. We see what they do with it. If they like it, great. The next day, two jars. The next day, three jars. But we've poisoned the jars. <laughs> it's a little bit of a long-winded plan. Uh, and to that extent, I also spent the day like grabbing stuff all day long, roots, twigs, parts of plants okay. and I'm just going to like blanket like detect poison on them to try to figure out what things are poison and what are. We did okay. ask about poisonous things, yeah. 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 Wait. You can tell what's poison this whole time? Yes. <laughs> Am I poison? <laughs> you find no. a uh you find a a, <laughs> a few roots that seem to have uh a poison in them that in small doses would put someone to sleep. In large doses could stop someone's breathing. Damn. Okay. I like I like that plan. I like the poison no, part this of that perfect. plan. Yeah, this is great. Well, I was going to say, I don't know if we should... pot of food and we just hand it. Here you go, kids. <laughs> oh, that's true. How about it? Uh, I'm dead. So I thought about this, what, yesterday, but I didn't think I had any access to poison. Well, I didn't know yeah. that I was traveling with a guy who's like, hey, look at that. That's poison. It's always the quiet this is, one. This is, this is fantastic. No, yeah, let's get as much of that as we can. <laughs> yes. And maybe oh. a god delivers the food. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, absolutely. You know. Yeah, and this poison, you you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty tough... It'll take a while to make this poison. Uh, there's a lot of drying the roots grinding them down into a, par a powder and then distilling them off. Um, and then it's, you know, an edible poison. So you get to work uh, hanging Good up thing I have roots, all that stuff. Cutting, yeah, cutting uh, up the, the roots into thin sheets that are easily dry, uh, could easily dry. Uh, hang them over a fire almost to dry them out quickly. Uh, and you start to do that stuff. It's going to be about a day to get that done, though. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys going to do anything else during that day? Well, still kind of Herp in the sticks. planning phase, yeah. I thought, but um, I, uh, I was just going to say, oh, yeah, go ahead. I'm just helping Cal Wise, that's all. But all I was, was going to say is, you know, we could either try to poison the whole tribe or just try to poison the chief. Um, no, everyone. You know, poison, poison everyone. Everyone gets poison. I mean, poison. You get poison and you get poison. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I mean, well, unless, unless they're actually really nice people that just happen to be 
walking down a pier a few thousand times carrying a, a wildling and tripped, you know? Yeah. I don't think we really have to worry about the, the, uh, their souls. No, yeah, I wasn't talking about that at all. I was just trying to think of the best way to do it. Because, like, trying to get everyone to eat it might be hard compared to having try to try to get, like, one person to eat it. I don't possibly, think everyone's going to eat it. I think try. we're trying to get it into yeah. as many mouths as possible. Right? And sure. I think maybe, I think, you know, having it sort of pop out like, like it came out of the confluence or something smelling real great, all of a sudden they think a god delivered them a really great meal. Something like that might be, might really be good, actually. Yeah, definitely. Maybe feast of it. I mean, even if we only get rid of one of them that way, it's one less we have to go through. True. Great. So, so was the plan then to uh, fake fake being a god, and then we're gonna give them poison, and then uh, hopefully we kill a lot of them. That's kind of the plan right now. I'm not sure we can fake being a god so much. Oh, that's not part of. Okay, sorry, sorry. Well, I just don't know. You know what I mean? Because if we're gonna look like we popped out of the thing, we got to be in the middle of that place. And that's mm -hmm, hugely mm -hmm. dangerous. I think maybe what we do is we try and look, make it look like it popped out somehow. Let them have at it. And then that evening when they're either dead or dying, we go in and... Oh, and, and okay. Rape. Yeah, make make it look like the food popped out. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Great. You know, like a gift from above. I don't, I don't know gods, but, you know, make it look godly. I think that's really smart. Would Super we just, like, make it really right. clean or something? Well, you guys spend uh, a day drying these roots out, grinding them into a powder, and then distilling them out into, like, a very, very fine, almost paste as you work it. And, uh, Kelwise, you would know just very loosely that uh, there's ways to condense this poison and make it uh, very, very potent. Um, it does have like a, a smell to it, a, a kind of a strong, bitter smell. Um, and as you mix it around in the... Uh, Need frog's breath. You mix it around in the jam. Uh, <laughs> you mix some around in the jam and it, it takes a while, but you seem to have gotten enough of it. Uh, how much are you putting into the first vial? How much do we have? You have about three... Uh, well, you have about five doses of this stuff. Is a dose a killing dose, or is a dose? Uh, uh, probably we don't like know. two doses would be enough to kill. Uh, oh. Depending on how much they eat, uh, one dose would probably put someone to sleep for a very long time. Two doses would murder somebody. I think we need more. Seems like we should just get more. Yeah, I mean. What, what does it cost us a week to, to just try and go around the island, get as much poison as we can? Okay, yeah. So you guys make spend... Make a big old stew, you know? What seems uh, seems about a, about a week making many, many, many doses of this, uh, of this poisonous paste. Uh, and you get about uh, 25 doses of this. Uh, 25 to... Th uh, well, that's seven days... Have a day. It'll be about 30 doses, actually, of of this poison. Um, spending most of your time just production lining this. And all of you guys kind of get into it, uh, collecting these roots. You make about 30 doses of this poison, uh, enough to maybe kill 15 individuals. Okay. Do you think we should maybe uh, do, like, six jars, put five doses in each jar? Mm. Maybe. The, uh... One question. Does it smell well, funny? Are they going to be able to taste it? Yeah. Should I try it? No. 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 <laughs> uh, uh, pup, you oh, sniff wait, it wait, and... Wait, uh, like I'm like a few levels like higher, okay? I'll be able to eat it, no problem. Pup, <laughs> you, you sniff this, this concoction and you can smell something's in there for sure. That's not the jam. But you know what jam smells like, so it's definitely a toss-up on whether or not they're going to be able to sniff this out. Because you like, remember they had they had a really good sense of smell, right? Yeah, um, and like same. So like pre, <laughs> um, so like like forest-wise, I'm thinking about like my time in the pots and jar. Like if I could smell like berries and know whether or not like I could or couldn't eat them, mm -hmm. does it ring that same type of like warning? 
Yeah, that same like, kind of acrid uh, yeah. response to something that was poisonous that you shouldn't eat. Uh, but then again, there are a ton of things you ate that you were like, oh, should not have eaten this. Should <laughs> definitely. That was bad. Bad idea. Um, yeah. So that, that, that was, was also... Uh, water spewing out the wrong and hole. And these you things know. don't seem like they're from this area necessarily, uh, as far as you know from yeah. the confluence. So they might not, not be accustomed to sniffing out poisons. It's all kind of a gamble at this point. But you living in pseudo the same area you smell some of that poison and you're like yeah this is not something i would eat if i if i smelled it and i relay that to them whether it like I the gamble know. and stuff i know though that you eat with your eyes first so if it were presented in a nice basket sitting on a <laughs> lovely bouquet of flowers these jars of jam it might do Go the wise. trick Go wise. Yes. How do you kill people? <laughs> uh, confidently, yes, he has. He killed I mean, all our masters. You've seen so. me yeah, kill no, people. Before, before, before. No. How did you learn not all this? People. I lived in the. I've never alone, seen someone basically. poison a fish. I... Is all I'm saying. Well, that came later. <laughs> <laughs> The fishing or the no, the fishing came first. The poison, the poison came later. Okay, you guys you know, deliberate you... Uh, on the uh, <laughs> merits of poisoning fish as you start to put this paste into these jars. Uh, five doses, you said, on each jar, in, in six different jars. Oh, I I think that's what we should go with a nice bouquet, a, a half a dozen okay. jars. That's good yeah, one. you get a half a dozen oh, of these what? jars of jam, the sweet smelling jam preserve. Club. And uh, Pup, you're really the only one who can tell that there's maybe a little something not right with these, right? But you don't really, uh, I mean, it's hard to tell. Yeah. These beings, you, know you just don't know do. where they're from, what their abilities are, uh, how their smell works. I mean, they themselves have such a strong, acrid smell themselves, that kind of uh, bitter smelling sour uh, stench. Does it have um, to be ingested? Please don't lose track of which jars uh, you put specific, that in. This specific poison uh, Kelwise uh, yeah, is good, using yes. is, a, is ingestion. Yeah. Uh, so you guys Resic make those, you dig them ones. up. Uh, Kelwise starts to put together a nice uh, flowery bouquet for the presentation just to make it look all the more appetizing. And I think that's where we'll pick up next week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all our poisoning. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> I'm afraid to sleep tonight. Yeah, our, right? Our and uh, we will see you guys next week. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful week. And we'll see you next time. Good night! Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.